Uh, hey there. We're uh, back in hobo tough life, of course. Hopefully our life won't be too tough for too long. I'm a little stinky. I'm 62% stinky, actually. Good lord. I don't remember that. Our uh, hobo inventory is looking a little light. And in general, um, I haven't quite gotten over how spoiled I was playing in multiplayer. Oh shit, this stuff respawned? We have some bottles we can sell in the morning. I forget what we were doing, really. Ooh. Some stuff for the base would be nice. I really want to get our... Um, our one base passive, the one that gives us flat resist. We want to get that maxed out, I think, because that'll give us plus 15 resist. We want to get there before winter time, because like I said, winter time I've seen go down to minus 20. So we want, like... Um, I think even if we can get to, like, 80 cold resist... We'll still have trouble in minus 20 degree weather. This is a little convenient because I remember this quest. If you remember, the woman at the charity said that uh, there were some people living near the old sugar refinery, uh, which apparently means this tent. Hello. There's three men living in here, living their best life. Big ass. Hey, guys. Sister Agnes from the charity sent me to check if you need anything. We've been there a few times for food. By the time we got there, everything good was gone, and we only got scraps. Sucks to be holed up so far away from the charity. Well, why don't you scavenge for food if you're hungry? You can find all sorts of good stuff in the bins. We're not used to that. We're homeless, but from a shelter, you know. Come with me. I'll show you how it's done. Hmm. I'm not sure, but why the hell not? I'll just get dressed, and we can go. <laughs> like this incredibly roomy tent that three men live in. Ready to go for an excursion. Apparently my dumpster diving is just high enough to do this for them. Let's go. Follow me and watch closely. We're going to show them how to become self-sufficient street hobos. We need to find five exemplary things in a bin. Here in Zizkov. Because that's where they live. It's starting to get colder. It's still seven degrees. I'm not sure if that's... That doesn't seem too bad in Celsius. It's going to get colder. We want to try the, to... Um... Now, this is tricky, because uh, I don't want to cut myself. Remember, we get four warnings. We have one more warning. I did it. Wow, we're out of lockpicks, aren't we? Oh, he's actually following me. Hello. Did I get a perk or two last time? Um, we didn't. We were looking at perks, um, but because the clock's always ticking, we'll read about our perks later. These are our actual perks. We have none right now. We have, like, level p passives, um, which we don't have any, but see, I think I can pay someone to make us a dumpster diving expert. Which is a skill, not a passive, although it is passive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Flashlight going right off those sunglasses. Let's beg for some money. I have a hamster inhabited by the soul of my grandfather. Neat. Um, I'm sorry, can you give me some money? Use some willpower to get up to an 80% beg. 28 bucks, thank you. Oh, there's a hobo here, actually. he This might be the dumpster diving hobo, now that I think about it. Bear. Hey, man. We don't know each other yet, right? No, and I'd prefer it stays that way. So you're not even going to tell me your name? No. What if I gave you a beer? You little blackmailer. Take this canned beer I found. I've got a feeling we're coming to a mutual understanding. The name's Bear. Pleasure to meet you, pal. Cool. Now I know a real bear. Call me Twink the Hobo. Uh, that's not my hobo name. You do need a sweet Russian nickname, though. So let's see if he's the dumpster diver. He is. He's the dumpster diver trainer. So try to remember this guy. Bear. Actually, he might show up on our map. Characters. Perfect. Bear. So you just need to remember, someone industrious, that bear makes us a better dumpster diver. Actually, is it? Okay, so it's not just our skill, isn't it? Dumpster Diver 4 gives us intuition. That lets us see what the minigame will give us. But Dumpster Diving Expert... Dumpster Diving Master is great, but Dumpster Diving Expert, we need 15 Trust. Oh, fuck, we've almost got 15 Trust. Let's chat, see if we can get something. 
You wouldn't believe how much maintenance a shack like this requires insulation, waterproofing, supports. Why are you telling me this? Just wanted to know if you'd help me out a bit. I mean, I'm here alone and I've got the leg. It's hard doing it on my own. I'll have a look. What does he need? A favor for bear, I think. Shack repairs for bear. See what needs to be repaired. Well, let's look at his shack. Sir? There it is. He needs a cinder block and two styrofoam. I have a cinder block back home. Oh, oh, but that's that's garbage on the ground. We can't go through that. Oh, hey, babe, hey, babe. What's this? Seven degrees is close to freezing. Okay. Now it's four degrees, and our clothes can't handle it. You're seeing the meter go down. Where am I? Charity's right here, so we're not too far from safety. We still need to find those fancy finds for this hobo. My morale is broken. There's one. Now they can show up on any tile. That's it. Just let's play it safe. I always say let's play it safe, but I am tempted to go crazy on these big ones. Because not only is it big, you can find nicer stuff. I think that's three. That's all of it. You'll find nicer stuff, uh, I feel, in the larger dumpsters. I'm very sad. I'm also a little hungry, so we're going to do this. This boxed wine will cheer me up. I'm pretty smelly, though. We Oh, I have a couple nudie mags on me still, too. Perfect. I forgot about that. A rub for the road, I believe, was the joke. We've only found one example we find so far. We'd probably be done by now if I was risk, uh, willing to risk the stink and slicing up my clothes. Um, we don't have a carnation yet. No, wait, so we, we gave that lady a carnation. So she'll fix our clothes, but it was too expensive. So we held off. That's also probably why I'm having trouble with this four degree weather. I think if we... Yeah, look at that. We're missing 10 cold resist from our coat. And five cold resist from our shoes. So we clear 50. And I think that would be enough for four degrees. Sun's not even up yet, and we're not really in the white, like the worst temperature, because temperature's not really a problem until it bottoms out. You just want to make sure that you're not in the middle of fucking nowhere when it does bottom out on you. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm so stinky, it's going to be troublesome to get into places now. Cup of coffee to keep us awake. We probably want that. Yeah, we have no soap for the stink, do we? Um... So this is a problem because these hold 15, so I want one of these. This is actually, I'm actually going to do this because sometimes people ask for those plastic bags. Monty did that to us last time. We'll keep the makeshift luggage. We still hold a fair bit. Um, as you can see, uh, my follower slot is I have this fellow hobo in my pocket. Charity shower, when you're too smelly, she won't let us in. It costs more. So we want to get our stink a little under control with some garbage soap. Because I think she charges like 80 bucks if we're too smelly. It's only 20 or 30 bucks if we're a regular uh, smelling hobo. We're already maximum stinky, though. We're already maximum stinky. Not maximum stinky, but like we're, we're fucked as far as like how society treats us. The difference between 80 and 100 stink is negligible, so just grab everything you can. I should be a little careful and go around the uh, shrapnels. See, now this is nice. We can detect four, but you can see that there's only two shrapnels left. So on a dumpster this size, there's only six. So at level six dumpster diving, we'll be able to detect everything. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I said out loud how the minigame worked. And then stepped on the last two tiles, which are clearly going to be shrapnels. But as your dumpster diving gets higher, you can safely go through certain ones. Like this one holds six, and we can detect four. Uh, we can break those pans down. Ooh, three newspapers for burning. 
We'll want to try and burn newspapers instead of wooden planks, because we want the wooden planks for the base. That was way too much. I'm freezing now. Okay, so that's there's only one trap on the left. We're going to burn these newspapers as soon as we find a barrel. Um, we should be near our charity fort. But with food, sorry, with stinky and temperature, that's going to start to fuck up our stats real bad. The hobo guy shower? Good call, Justin. Um, that's a little out of the way, but that's a good idea. Where's the church? There's the church there. We have a lot of health, and we do have some grub, which gives us health back. So we're not going to bottom out of 20% health like last time, but... We're not in the best spot because our clothes being torn up as we get cold pretty quick. Burn some newspaper while I strategize here. I have 30 newspapers that'll last a while. They only last for 10 seconds each, but you find them a fair bit, whereas wood uh, is a lot harder to find in the city. All right, we have enough styrofoam. And what was the other thing you needed? A cinder block, which we've already placed, unfortunately. But I'm going to take those. I'm going to sell this chair to Drax. I'm going to put this wood away. Keep the nails. We don't need the electrical parts. Hmm. The stink is a problem. So this guy's not going to get mad if we take too long, so we are going to have to just drag him for a bit of a, a journey. We have no money, but we can also go visit that guy. Um, see, this one has nine shrapnels. We really don't want to go in here with only just four hobo senses. And hopefully we didn't get fucked like that super fast, but oh well. Chicken bones and some junk. I'm not sure what chicken bones are for. Yeah, no one's gonna no one's gonna offer to give us money. We're too smelly. I don't have any strategy to this mini game, by the way. A wet wipe that'll help us, just in case the shower at the hobo place doesn't give us full stink. Because he says only use some of the water, so I'm guessing it's not a full shower because it's free too. That's locked and run of lock picks. We need to, uh, Drax needs to sober up. That's a thug. And while I don't have a lot of money, I think we're just, I think if it's over a hundred crowns, he'll mug you. And with such a small pile of cash at our disposal, I don't want to lose any of it. Mind if I check for butts? I'll just come in behind you there. See, this one only has two shrapnels and we can detect two, so we're fine. So those ones are pretty safe to check every time. Usually you'll just find uh, cigarette butts, unfortunately. Fuck, where is it? I always get... I can never find them. That's a... There's some, not, there's some nice locked dumpsters over there. I think he's right through here. I hope. The posters. Are the posters the, the, the ticket? No. Fuck. Is that another thug? That's the thug. Fuck it. Just take the money, champ. Oh, well, well, well. Being dirty pays off. I'm too smelly to mug. Well, fucking well. That's handy. I can't fucking find the, the clothes hobo now. Is this it? There it is. I need a shower. Please tell me you'll talk to me at this much stink. Apparently he needs some polyesterine as well. I have this. Thanks to the nothing. Better than nothing. Uh, da, da, da. Request. I need to shower. Odor minus. Uh, well, that's that. That gets us low enough that the charity won't yell at us. Maybe a bit more. 
He really needs to like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barter, what do you got today? He's a motorcycle helmet. Twelve hundred dollars. Uh, it's mostly for defense, I think. He's got good water resist. What do we got here? Some deluxe botas. Typical middle class footwear, but only for the wealthy. This is nine cold resist, nine water resist. Three. It's actually a. These are actually good cold resist. The deluxe sneakers. We're just lacking in water resistance for the poncho. This is shit. That's a, those are very charismatic pants. Even more charismatic than these latex pants. Okay. And then I will use a wet wipe. And then that should be enough that the lady won't insult us at the charity. A lockpick. We really need one of those. Three, four. Fuck, I got boxed in. Now, I think at orange stink, they'll come after me, so that's still got to be careful. More plastic bags for favors. Shit. Shit. Probably not even going to be good for how much trouble it's given us. Pile of books. That's actually a nice one. I thought up a new blueprint. That will let us make a, uh, a study so we can read books to cheer ourselves up. But it's also a, quite the undertaking. Man, this stink is a real problem. We can eventually build a shower in our base if we can find an old bathtub. Um, and for how stinky I'm getting playing solo, we might need to do that. I really wanted to stick around near that hobo for the quest. We're looking at other dumpsters, which aren't really advancing our progress. Figures. Locked trash cans. What a world. Let's hope that that wet wipe is enough. My morale is broken. We'll read a nudie mag this time. Get out of the way, I'm smelly. The one Now you can see how troublesome it is to just live your hobo life when you're smelly. And one of the character archetypes is he's just really smelly all the time. He finds more stuff in the dumpsters is the trade-off for that character, I believe. Which is tempting. He's probably the most manageable character, I'd think. But you get locked out of a lot of stuff if you're too stinky. And my health is going down. I really shouldn't be keeping these two so low. So we'll read the nudie bag. And we'll also take the one wet wipe, which keeps us at 76. Which apparently someone needs a wet wipe for something. Let's hope that orange is low enough. I'm thinking that my stink is also going up quicker because my clothes are smelly, remember? So we might want to actually wash our clothes as well. Walk. Uh, we can't walk the dog because we have the hobo. I'd like to take a shower. 30 crowns. Perfect. I only have 10 crowns. Sad look. That takes up her uh, her hourglass, though. Here you go. All right. Solved our stink problem. Can I get something for free today? Uh, just some clothes for the clothes hobo. Another deluxe sweatshirt. No, sorry. Scratch that. We're going to break those because we have a real fabric problem, don't we, hobo that's staring at me with his dead eyes? We have a real hobo... Uh, Real clothing. There's a thug. And we've cleaned ourselves up so he'll actually take our shit now. I'm going to do my laundry, actually, and then that'll make me poor enough that the thugs leave us alone. 50 for the laundry. There we go. Still need to fix it, but hopefully we can shred up that deluxe sweatshirt. It's interesting that the thugs leave uh, the normies alone. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? All poor and shit. Yep, see ya. Don't waste my fucking time. I'm a busy guy. All right. The, we're in Zizkov, so these ones should have the spectacular finds again. 
two, three, four, fuck. They really sneak up on you. What's this? Ooh, it's a little hobo encampment. We don't have time for this unless you have stuff to steal. We, no. We don't have time to loot. You never really get self-sufficient, but we're not exactly living comfortably right now, so we can't dilly-dally. We've been in here. Did I go in these? Might have actually checked all the dumpsters and not found anything because we're uh, being a little too conservative. No, wait. Here we go. I am going to let them rip my clothes because this is a fucking gigantic one. Only one shrapnel left. Some soap, could have used that. No spectacular finds, though. Some antidepressants. That was good for me, that was not good for the quest progress. Hello. Also build a hobo fortress. Right now we have a chair and like a piece of homemade fencing. Oh, this is just stealing. This is perfect. I do have an extra nudie mag, so we won't get too sad. I really should have gone to the church. Our faith's kind of decaying, isn't it? I just read the nudie mag and we're... No, fuck, I'm getting a little sleepy. Where's my coffee? I had a quick shot of energy. There we go. I'm at 63. And I'm now I'm raging. I think the bomb makes me better at fighting. Lock, lock, lock. Eh. I have a single lock pick, and I'm hesitant to uh, burn it. Do I have any bubble gum? Bubble gum gives us willpower, so we can force succeed an easy lock. Bubble gum gives us willpower, and chocolate bars give us a lot of willpower. I'm not sure what else does. All right, there we go. Officer? That's a lot of newspaper. Hey, man, what's up? You're not supposed to be here. This is private property. This isn't private property. I am so done. People keep sneaking in here. I'm calling the police. Oh no, what can I do? I got arrested. Um, so that made us very sad. C minus 40, and they took all our items. And we basically just have to sit here for a while, 20 seconds. You could try to sleep, but the prison's quite com uncomfortable. You could take a shit if you had toilet paper, but they take your stuff. Oh, no, that's interesting. I actually do have the bedding. But I act no actually I I am sleepy. See look at that temperature fucking plummet. Not plummet, but I mean it gives us something to do while we're here in prison. I don't know what this is giving us. Confidence? If it's confidence I want it, because that'll help us beg. Come on, come on. There it is. That hobo made a break for it when I got arrested. 100% of my contraband has been confiscated. It always says that. I don't have contraband on me. Sorry, what does boxed wine give me? Boxed wine gives me morale, warmth. Oh, yeah, sir, you're right. Willpower on wine. Good eye. That's a good eye, because boxed wine is not that hard to get. There's a burning barrel over here. Now, I'm a little concerned that that reset the quest, because it was kind of a pain in the ass just to find those couple exemplary finds. Burn some of our newspaper. Where the fuck is it? Why? Who needs... Favors? Deliver the old stove to Monty. Whoops. That's bad. Meisner needs some soap, and the rest of the soap will be good for his trust. Uh, Meisner also needs a plastic crate, which we might be able to break down the crate of books. And then 
He needs one styrofoam, one cinder block. So let's go to our main base. Let's see if those hobos will talk to us. We might have fucked up that quest. I really hope we didn't. But if we fucked up that quest, that really sucks. That just, I think, makes the Lady at the Charity really like us. But I don't think we get a benefit for that. I think we broke that quest. Charity in need. Show by guess the bins can be a reliable source of food. Uh, looks like I don't need to bring him anymore. Um, let's go talk to Drax. Sell that chair. We can also grab the shit in our base. Do I have any willpower on me? I have. I think I'm out of willpower. So the next time we want to force a lot, pick one. I have some boxed wine. Place didn't reset. Harder. Take the shitty chair. That's a hundred dollar chair. That's pretty good. You wouldn't guess what I found in the garbage. What'd you find? A retired blow up doll. Nice. That does it. Give me trust. Shit. Just shy. Just shy. Let's go get that soap to Meisner, though. Meisner's our lifeline for recipes and shit. He's also one of the hobos. Certain hobos, if you befriend them, you can, like, ask for favors yourself. So you can be like, I'm sad. And I'll give you a swig of wine to cheer you up. Or, oh, I think I'll give you some scraps of food. Or he can give you, I think he can give you a confidence buff as well. So Meisner is a bit of a lifeline. About that soap, I have some soap. I just can't be choosers. There you go, champ. 40, that's a nice milestone. Teach me. He'll teach us how to make bedding. I can't craft it yet, but we have enough to get the Great Life Bringer, which is really good for morale. Ah, here we go. Trust 50 and three bottles of rum, and he'll teach us how to go through piles of garbage just on the ground. And comfortable bedding we can't craft. Uh, what do you got today? Retired blow-up doll. Um, oh, fuck. This is going to be a problem, though. Shit. Well, I, we maybe didn't take too long on the stove, because I did just turn the game off for a couple days. There's our fucking industrious hobo base. We're off to a great start. I need... Where's that? I swore I had a cinder, blo cinder blocker. Did I break it down like an idiot? No, it's right here. Give me this. Place an inventory. Okay, there we go. Now we can fix bears up, but we gotta go deliver this thing to Miser first, I think. Um... Da -da -da -da. Yeah, so this has five books in it if we're lucky, but I'm not gonna break that. That's that exclusive. Nice shit. I'll break that, and I'll break this. And I'll break that for the fabric. Ah! We get XP for crafting when we break shit down. That's good to know. I'm overweight, though. Fuck. What can I put away? I have a hobo in my pocket. That's probably why we're overweight. Um, we don't use the crate right now. And we definitely don't use that. That really freed up a bunch of weight. Yeah, once you get over like a hundred of the junk, it starts to drag you down. But also we're using uh, old garbage bags to expand our inventory rather than plastic bags or backpacks. We could just go buy like actual hiking bags at an outdoors uh, goods store. But we have uh, a dollar in change on us. So, no. Um, I think one of the booze gives me confidence, so we might take a little liquid courage and beg for money. But we gotta get to Monty. Speaking of Meisner and Bear, there's one quest I had on my last playthrough, and I don't know how to do it, is Meisner wants Bear's coat, and Bear won't give it to you, so you have to beat him up. And I could never bring myself to do it. Because we're a good hobo. Uh, old stove? Perfect. 
We did it in time. Here's something for your troubles. Thanks. He gave me a cigarette. You look a bit down, hombre. Really? Is it illegal to be sad when everything's going to shit? Why so negative? It looks like you have a comfortable life here. Maybe, but not for long. I just lost my business, my livelihood. What? I repair broken appliances. Not everything people throw out's broken. My friend Pyre was good at selling that stuff on the street. Was. He drank himself to death recently. May he rest in peace. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I don't... That sucks. How about we try to do that together? Call me Monty, and sure. Yeah, we can try that. I don't care. All right, what do you want me to do? We need to find some trash electronics we can repair. Do you have any idea where we could find some? Try asking Miser if he has anything. He goes through the dumps in the pit every day. We're looking for electronics and appliances. Okay. Do you have any advice for me? Don't throw anything you find away. You can use or recycle everything. Even seemingly useless crap can save your life sometimes. And absolutely, absolutely never throw out any useful junk. If you don't want it, bring it to me. Fine. Uh, we'll do a chat. Sure, why not? How's it going? I sure could use some life bringer. See, this was a favor we have to fulfill right away, and I have some on us. There you go. Look at you. Thanks, pal. Thanks. Barter? Yeah, I've got some shit on it, but I don't want to sell it to him, because like he said, we can use everything. Teach me crafting. There might be another solution, Justin. Like, maybe we just need really high trust with Bear, because I never got it very high with Bear. All right, what gives us faith or charisma? Charisma is the bust with the tie. Bust with the tie is box wine. Man, that thing does. That stuff does everything. Take a little grub, because I'm getting hungry, and now we have a bit of a food problem, and we're going to shit ourselves shortly. I have some uh, recyclable bottles to sell, by the way. 36 of them, to be precise. There we go. We're back in shape. We're up to $2. It's not the exact exchange rate, but that's a better way to visualize uh, how you're doing. Man, I do not have as much confidence. Well, I do have a confidence buff, but my charisma is kind of shit because my clothes are broken. That's right. That's probably why no one wants to talk to us. All of our charisma buffs are broken. Little cigarettes. Officer? Always a chance. There's always a chance at 8% that you might get something. Ooh, we didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I really don't want to steal stuff out front of the train station. Because our morale's already low, well, we can basically get arrested once, then we have to read the nudie mag. Level up on speech. Not too concerned about speech. The speech mini game is mostly for quests. You never have to do the mini game when you're begging. It's cheaper at the charity, but just so we can stay in this part of town, I'm just going to pinch off a loaf at the gas station. They just gave me some money for talking to him. Try finding the old homeless guy. He'll tell you how to survive better. One of your sort was stealing our chickens last night. Me and my mates caught him and gave him a right thrashing. That's how one deals with you lot. Neat. Uh, can you give me money, though? No. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. I'm not going to steal Stealing's a handy skill. I think that's what we use when we just uh, go into unlocked bins that aren't ours. But, ooh, some soap. Keep our stink under control now that we gave some to Miser. I need to make a deposit. 20 bucks. 20 bucks to shit near my base is worth it. I also have some scrap metal we can sell. Ah, uh, two. Thought I had more scrap metal on me. Okay, let's equip him, just in case he has to actually be in our party while we're rummaging. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Wait a second, why do I have brain up? 
What gave me brain up? Huh. I think brain up is faith regen. What would it have been? Maybe someone was kind to me. Maybe the guy that gave me money. You know, it's like restores your faith in humanity kind of thing. Otherwise, I'm not sure what would have done it. So with me, champ? Yeah, you there. I did pick up the cinder block, so let's give Bear his shit. I fix it myself, okay. Oh boy. I may not be handsome, but I'm handy. I fix it for you. Yeah, it's great. Just hope it won't fall down on my head. What do I owe you? I have some old junk if you're interested. Or do you want money? Dog food? Cloth bag? That might be good. Um, I'm going to take the cloth bag. That'll give us a lot of inventory space. Thanks. So what does he need? 15? 15. I really need that 15. What's on your mind? What's wrong with your leg? Rotting away it is. There's some fucking gangrene or some shit. It's festering and I need to keep it dry. Jesus. You're gross. Girls love that thing. Yeah, whatever works for you. Fuck. We're just shy. We're just shy on that dumpster diving promotion, which adds more treasure. Um, we're doing pretty well for ourselves, so I'm going to just slice myself up because I really want to finish this quest. There's three shrapnels left, and they're most likely in that last part, so no fucking thanks. Oh, Christ. Just when I thought I'd find some. Hey, man, what's going on? Just take it. 60 bucks. That was not very profitable. Need to really, really root around in these big ones, not the locked one. Hello. One day, one day I'll actually get one of those 10% bags off. It's not the end of the world. Um, these were... Yeah, this is what got us fucked last time, wasn't it? Yeah. There's a few places we haven't checked yet. cup of coffee that'll help us because we really don't want to waste time sleeping if we can help it an herb we can make tea remember i didn't mean to do that we can make tea if we find three herbs and one lemon we can buy lemons at the grocery store the one thing that gets a little confusing about navigating the city is that there's multiple shops that serve the same purpose which I guess is true in like a downtown. Like you'll find like a pharmacy a couple blocks away from another pharmacy. Because uh, it's all about foot traffic. Just because time passes no matter what, we do kind of blitz through conversations we've already seen. Yeah, see, the cloth bag holds 30. Look at that. Look at all that extra inventory space we got. Um, I'm a little sleepy, so let's get that under control right now. My health is not perfect. Let's top that up a bit. And then our really dangerous ones here are nice and low. Hello. Hello. It's 14 degrees Celsius. I don't know if that's shorts weather. Unless you're one of those guys. I know a guy that wears shorts in the wintertime. He's fucking weird. It's not that hot. Why must you turn this into a house of lies? Yeah, I think when we're doing well, we should just press forward and get a whole bin. It's when times are lean, we should just take the four hobo senses and leave. God damn it. 
This is my quest. This is my quest. Keep that one marked. So pretty much these bins. That's locked. We definitely can't go in there. We have not really been finding any of these finds, have we? Hey, wait a sec. We should be checking these because a doctor lives somewhere in Zizkov. It's either going to be inside the apartment building or it'll just be the actual door. What do you want? What's going on? Give me your money, you piece of shit. Now, look at me. Do I look like I have any fucking money? I'm a homeless beggar. <laughs> or if I'm super tough... Uh, you give me your money. Just take the money. There goes our fucking cash. We need to be a little more mindful of the thugs, but... When we're poor and we're questing, I think it's best to just get caught and move forward. Always twirling. Twirling towards freedom. We were outside the zone. And then all this shit off the main street. It's all locked. We'll get arrested. I mentioned this last time, places like this are best to check when it's snowing or raining because uh, they won't have a guy guarding it as often. He'll prefer to stay inside. But even when there's no one here, he'll conveniently take a smoke break when you start rooting around, so... This might be... that. That says steel. That might be wood. I really want to get on this. It was wood. Unfortunately, we can't grab that all at once, so it'll take a while. Now, this we can take. So this one and then the one back at our base. Those are two places we know we can steal from. Requires a key to the sewers. Oh, my. I think I'll try to take this because it's easy. Ah, just duct tape. Not really worth it. Sorry, I missed this. Are there caps on my skills? As far as I know, they go to at least 10. I've never gotten a skill higher than that. Um, and I didn't. My friend, the one that always begged in front of the train station, I think he got his begging up to 10. And I don't remember if he said it kept going. And that was about day 30. So he did nothing but beg for most of 30 days. Dr. Hanson? This building looks new. Man. Man. I'm sure this isn't exactly what uh, things look like in Czechoslovakia, but it's definitely not a happening place. Yeah, I'm not sure where the doctor lives. This is Bard. I'm pretty confident that Dr. Handsome is around here somewhere. I just don't know where. I'm amazed we've only found three. We might have to risk one of these. I only have a single lock pick, though, is the problem. No, I have four. Neat. off. Oddly difficult. <laughs> level and lock picking, just my luck. I think level and lock picks uh, makes the sweet spot wider. This was a good one to crack open though. No exemplary finds unfortunately. We're getting stinky, so we gotta watch out for that. Oh, well, hello! Nudie Mag. Dead bird! That's for a quest, or do I already have a dead animal on me? We need a dead animal for one of the quests. This thing's got no fucking give to it. There's some soap. We're probably going to use that immediately. Man, uh, maybe you can't find exemplary finds in the uh, locked ones. Because we should have found at least one by now. We covered a lot of ground with these bins. 
And because we found that nudie mag, that's going to completely cancel out all the sadness from stealing. Look at that lockpicking XP, though, because they're mediums. Another energy drink. Thank God regular people don't snitch. It's just guys guarding the factories. I think a guy just caught me now. Oh, it's an actual officer. Hey, officer. I'm going to have to find you for a misdemeanor. We can deal with this now. It's going to be 100 crowns. Um, yeah, I'll just pay the fine. That's all our cash, but we're on this. We're still on the street. I was okay wasting a nudie mag on uh, being sad. I didn't want to waste one on getting arrested. What's this? Czechoslovakia isn't a thing anymore. Czech Republic by mistake. My mistake. It's Czech. The game's made by a Czech fella. Fellas, I think. They they have a team. They're making a console port. How did I miss these garbage cans? Or did they reset because we've been at this for so long? Okay. That hurt. We gotta be really careful now. Where's this soap? Oh, I'm not stinky at all. I think my clothes are just super fucked. Uh, I think we got a level in crafting, so I should be able to fix more of my clothes. But I really want to get this quest done. There's Doc Handsome. I'm looking for Mr. Handsome. Well, that's me. What do you want from me? You're a doctor. I used to be, but my duty has ended. I've retired. I see. Couldn't I stop by if I'm on my last legs? Leave me alone, please. I no longer run an open practice. Goodbye. Well, so much for that fucking plan. Probably got to do a quest to chum him up. Um, nobody's... There's no cops. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk this one. This is really going to do a number on our health. A carnation for the seamstress. There's only two shrapnels left. We found all the shrapnels up front. God damn it, dude. Where are these fucking finds I need to find for you? It's got to be in some bin I just didn't look at all the way. Or this. Could you at least do me a favor and check for the popo? All right, let's go. A picture of our Savior, Jesus Christ. A new blueprint. I think we use that to make a shrine to God. We gotta be careful here, because I think, yeah, because my clothes are broken, it hurts when I fuck up the minigame now. Thank God we got it quick. Still, no progress on this. I feel like I'm getting Valhalla Knight's drop rates here. There's one right here. Huh. Oh. Well, that's the quest. Thank God. Alright, let's get you home. My morale's broken. I got a trick for that. Rubbing one out. Oh. Hope you enjoyed the show. No, you're not going to fucking give me some money in exchange for that? Leave me. I'm too aroused. Yeah, we had we had two dollars, now we have no dollars. It's worse when you have like 3,000 crowns or something and a guy jumps you. It's not that hard now, is it? I guess not. Hardest part will be getting used to looks people give you. Fuck them. 
What do we do with all this garbage? I could really eat something now. That's not garbage, but a precious resource. You could make delicious stuff from this. What? Just watch. It's called Grub. It's a makeshift meal from a bin. Have a little taste. Um, I have to go make him three grub, which sucks, because that's my grub. I can almost make six grub. I, I can almost make enough, luckily. We have almost enough food. Unfortunately, now we have food troubles. Where the fuck am I going to find food? Well, I mean, in a dumpster, but... Really could have used that money to pay the seamstress, but I think our crafting is high enough, coupled with the stuff we found today. Is there any treasure in there? What a weird little... Oh, no. It's a shrine to Satan. Speaking of finding pictures of Jesus. Actually, my morale's already broken. Like, we've already used the porno magazine. No reason to lower it further. Um, so yeah, we're looking for scrap food, and then we'll buy three rolls, which, fuck, I don't have money for. We have a lot of returnable bottles, right? Returnable bottle situation is as follows. I have 26 of them. That's enough. I'm starving. That's not good. I didn't find any fucking food, did I? Yeah, this part of my legendary journey is not going too hot. No money for food. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I gotta get to the bathroom. Huh. Oh, we're just going to stand here and wait for this thug to go away because I also have to grab a drink. Alright, I actually don't need to take a shit, but now the thug should have given up. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it really sucks, the timing on this one. So we have no food, but he wants us to make him food. And I have no money, because I would, ideally... Um, we might have enough, actually, because Justin was talking about the bottles. We might have enough returnable bottles to buy us, like, a gas station burger. And that'll get us in good shape, food-wise. I think that one should be enough. Let's try it. Burgers exactly 60. It also gives us a little health to cancel out all that uh, garbage adventure. Take one more bandage. Take an apple. We're also a little tired, so I'm going to take an energy drink to get us through the night. It also gives us a little willpower. See, so yeah, Justin was saying it might be better to hang on to the bottles until you need to buy something. And your mind's in the right place, but the returnable bottles are worth two crowns each. It's better off um, hoarding other items. Uh, like, once we chum up Monty a little more, we'll be able to uh, fix broken stuff we find in the dumpsters, like radios and toasters, and then we can sell those to a pawn shop. And that's a better way to concentrate money in inventory slots, because bottles will kind of like weigh us down eventually, and just finding enough of them will be difficult. Two lockpicks. That wasn't the worst dumpster. Another mini game. A medium. Oh boy. 
Uh, there you go, an old toaster. So we can take that to Monty, and he'll fix it for us, but we'll make more money if we fix it ourselves. Because we have to pay Monty to fix it for us. But eventually, as we chum up Monty, he'll just give us a perk. Because um, regardless of your crafting skill, you need a special perk to fix broken appliances called uh, Engineer, and Monty will tell us what it is. Box of wine. Shit. If we can get the crafting perk, that'll make the sweet spot for that bigger, which is important because um, hard mini games will be uh, one bar will be green, and though they're pretty much impossible because you'll have to hit it multiple times as well. So the we'll want to be sticking with easies and mediums until we get the perks to make those wider. Where's that box? There it is. Put that there. We're kind of sleepy, and I don't have any real plans for tonight. That's a good soap. It's also raining, so now I'm really tempted to sleep. At the very least, we'll pop back and uh, dry off at the fire using some of our newspapers. We're at 35. Um, oh, we also have a broken vacuum cleaner that Monty can fix for us and a broken kettle that Monty can fix for us. I don't think I have enough money to um, pay him for his services, unfortunately. We almost got to the 60 food we need for those hobos. Got to be a little careful, though, because we're still in a bit of a food deficit because that burger is not going to last us more than a day in our tum-tum. Found a second herb. We can also make our almost make our own tea again. Now, the tea gives us uh, the sun buff, which I think is warmth, so it's either bonus cold resist or we warm ourselves up as long as we have that buff. And this is really powerful, so I try to hold on to the teas until I'm desperately cold or sick. I'm going to put that medallion away because we use that. See, recovers 10 points of all loads that maximum, so we can use that to recover from one death. And those are also quite expensive, so we don't want uh, Meisner taking those from us when we die. The stuff out here in the pit should have recovered. What did we need? Um, we needed some rum, and then Meisner will teach us some dumpster diving stuff. No, that's bear. We need one more with bear. What do you teach us? I forget. Have you found an electronics? Oh, about that package from Monty, I gave it to him. He gave us a box of wine. Like this vacuum cleaner? Do you need it for anything? Nothing? Could I have it? What for? It's for Monty. Bring me a box of wine and it's yours. You fucking idiot. You just gave me a box of wine. You know Monty repairs stuff for people. Well, I'll give it to Monty for free, but to you, box of wine. There's your fucking box. Hope you choke on it. I'm too much of an experienced drinker for that to happen. Uh, just some of these deadpan slav comebacks. Dump Raider. We need a we need seven trusts, but we have forty hourglass. We might be able to get a couple per quests out of them, chat. Fucking bastards, what? Some dicks came here and stole the bricks I used to hold down my tarp. Could they have been blown away by the wind? Are you a retard or something? I'll get you some bricks. This is gonna sound unbelievable, but I do indeed wash myself from time to time. We'll give him the soap. About that soap, we have the nice soap, so that'll give him a lot of trust. Can I have it? Three. We need four more trust, and we have 20 hourglass. Um, where are you going to sleep tonight? I've got some stuff for sale now. Where are you going to sleep tonight? The fucking hotel president. I've got a room booked there already. Not bad. Want a drink? Sure. Take this life bringer. That was trust, too. This is going to sound unbelievable, but I do wash myself. All right, so if we can get him... If we can get him a soap, that'll get him to 50 trust. And then he'll teach us Dump Raider for three bottles of rum. And that'll give us access to more containers. Oh, I don't even need to waste my my newspapers. We can use the free barrel over by Drax. Some super glue and some junk. Yeah, I mean, 
we saw a lot of the core gameplay systems last time, so we're really just going pretty fast now. So I feel bad for anyone that shows up partway through this playthrough. But the clock's always against us. Um, I didn't walk Monty, sorry, I, I didn't walk Bobby the dog because we had the hobo with us. So in the morning, we're going to go walk the dog, which will give us, um, it should give us some free food. And we can also ask for free food for the day. I'm overweight. Tire, we do need cinder blocks, which we'll find in the garbage. Are you drunk enough to, okay, good. I was worried you might be too drunk to talk to you. We need... Where are you going to sleep tonight? Doesn't matter. Would you like to buy this? No. Fuck. Want a SIG? Perfect. Whew. Thought we were going to be stuck not squeezing out that one trust. Now he'll teach us how to make lock picks. I have one bottle of rum. Locks have two basic states. Interesting. Oh, fuck. He didn't teach me how to make lock picks. He told me how about... How to, oh, god damn it. That's a one-time boost to your skill. I thought it was going to be a recipe. That's the worst possible outcome, because I think we gave him a bottle of rum for that. Sell you that tire, because I'm really strapped for cash. I'm going to use your barrel to dry off a bit. Uh, smoke, apple, canned beer. Unfinished coffee. Dry off a bit here. Craft several life bringers. This will give us some XP while I pass the time. Okay. See, we can fix a toaster. Once he teaches us how to be an engineer, we need one epic trash, one electrical part. Epic trash is kind of hard to find, actually. And then a kitchen stove. Epic. Yeah, we need epic trash to fix stuff and sell it. There's the study. Temple of Knowledge. Reading books here grants more experience. I don't know what skill would level up from reading a book. I never built the study because it takes three piles of books. The Christian altar. Prayer regenerates your morale. Remember to pray before you go to sleep. I need remarkable fabric, which we've seen before, so that's not too bad, but epic junk. We're stuck on epic junk, which I think will start showing up pretty reliably as our dumpster diving gets up. And we grab that perk. It stopped raining, too. God bless. Once we get that perk, it turns more of the nothing tiles into actual treasure. Some old textiles, because when we get back to the base, I'm going to try to patch up my clothes, because the cold resist is really starting to be lacking. And we're looking for uh, some soap for Meisner. And we need, what was it, three rum or one bottle of rum? Three bottles of rum will be a little tricky to uh, find. Probably better off buying them. But you've seen that our money is in shit shape. Not getting a lot of begging done. Dismantle some stuff. I think some things actually do use toys, but I mostly break the toys down into the more general use junk. Okay. I st the tattered mattress thing somebody asks for sooner or later for a quest, so I want to hang on to that for that reason. I will try to fix my clothes, and I actually do have enough crafting to fix all my clothes. I have enough level. Um, the coat is going to keep us the warmest. Perfect. And then the I can actually afford to fix everything. Um, not that. The shoes actually take a lot of junk, a lot of useful junk. We can fix the our little scarf and our jeans. Those are actually very powerful clothes for being flagged as easy. And I will make a few bandages. Not too many, because we still need some left to um, fix our clothes. I'll make some cigarettes here as well. If you have real smokes, you can bribe thugs with them, but the thug gets offended if you give him the recycled smoke, so we're not going to do that. Ten. This is 25 water resist. That's a little tempting, but I think I said last time, the problem with that plan is it only works when it's warm outside. 
All right. See, we can loot that when we have dump raid, or we can loot that when we have dump raid. There's like four extra containers just near our base that'll become available to us once we learn dump raider. But we have to get enough money to buy the rum, and I think rum goes for like 50 bucks. So let's do a bit of begging now that my charisma is better. I should have slept. Wow. Um. I will sleep. Just because uh, it'll be sun up by then. There'll be more people on the street to beg to. That was the last of my blanket. We'll have to craft a new one now. Really just waiting till the fire dies down and my cold resist drops. We don't need to go all the way to 100 energy. Sleeping spots throughout the city activate when you reach the first level of rest. Remember we use the um, one for confidence. Mostly I use the ones to help me sober up if I get way too shit-faced. Some hobos will challenge you to a drinking contest and I've never won. I'm getting a little stinky. I don't like that. See, the fire burnt out, temperature starts plummeting. Because you're not cold, you're just not warm enough to sleep comfortably. Maybe I take off my socks, I don't know. I can never sleep with my shoes on. Sun didn't quite come up, we sleep pretty quick. And because we fixed our clothes, we can actually rummage around big dumpsters again. Um, I'm actually probably going to do that. Especially the big ones. There's a fire barrel over here. That's not a bad stopping off point if you don't want to go all the way back to the uh, underpass. Hey, man. Jesus, no. I'm only a little stinky. It's building up, though. Once the sun comes up, we're going to go to the charity. We're going to take a shower. Or, sorry, yeah, shower. Shower gets your steak down. We're going to take a shower, and then we're going to take the dog for a walk because we need some food. Box of wine. How's hobo life? It's going good. Good as you could expect as a hobo. Uh, the real the real test will be is if we can get our cold resist up in time for winter. Like, yeah, it's ripping our clothes up. Oh, well, Th these are great dumpsters to pass on, I think. An old keyboard we can fix. A fishing stool for sitting. I think I'm neglecting our base is the only thing. Not finding a lot of furniture. Real shred of fucking clothes there. Yeah, it looks like I only get XP when I actually take the item. I might be wrong. Bottle of soap. Well, well, well. No, wait, that's from Eisner. So yeah, we're definitely going to go to the charity instead. Ooh, that was a close one. Hey, Nobby. From what I can tell from the chat is apparently there is a market for a hobo game where you raise a hobo empire. Because you're a, you're a solo hobo or sobo in this one. We can be multiplayer hobo, but... Multiplayer in this game kind of reminds me of multiplayer in Zomboid. Is that the more people you have, the easier it is to survive. So we need... I couldn't even... I don't think I could take a shower if I wanted to, now that I think about it. I need to find three bottles of rum. 
And that'll give us the um, dumpster diver perk. And like I said, there's a chance to find rum in the dumpsters. But it's not that great. Let's go see Monty, because Monty's near a lot of really nice dumpsters while we're just here fucking up our clothes. Huh. That was scrap food. My, I'm at 66. So we need three rolls to make three grub, and then we give that to the hobos in the tent to show them that they can be a hobo. It's possible. This guy is... He shouldn't be out at this hour, but he might come out. I'm not in a rush to get arrested because I think we're out of porno. That was really inefficient. I'm sure you saw where I doubled back over tiles when I was just like muscle memory going through the dumpster. Epic trash. Perfect. These ones aren't even locked. You, you idiot. Another picture of G There's a lot of people throwing away pictures of our Lord and Savior in this fucking city. Um, and this is the pawn shop. It says pawn shop. Apparently pawn shop means pawn shop even in Czech. Uh, I think I said this last time too. We can sell things to people on the street, uh, which will give us more money, but they have to uh, want to buy the item. Uh, so I'm just going to save time and always sell things to the pawn shop. So we're going to lose out on a fair bit of money overall doing that, but... This is kind of going to suck if Monty's blackout drunk and tries to fight us. Holy fuck, is it cold. It's four degrees. Did I break my clothes again? Yeah, holy fuck, I just shredded my clothes again. Oops. I think it was worth it. We found some pretty nice stuff today. Damn it, I did it again. box of wine should warm me up and also help with some of my morale because we've been stealing shit. Some strange fabric for fixing my clothes. Um, I'm getting a little peckish. That burger did not last as long as I wanted. I have one playboy I really don't want to read. What was I going to drink? A box of wine. Get our temperature under control. Actually, these friendly hobos, now that I've collected the taxes, they should like me enough to give me some free food for the day. Juice. Hey, man, how are you? Got something to eat? Oh, fuck, how did I get that guy to give me stuff last time? My last playthrough, that guy would give me food. Might be tied to charisma. Some really nice shit over by Monty to steal, isn't there? Oh, fuck. I have no stamina to run. <laughs> oh boy. Is he going to follow me all the way? The energy drinks? Fuck. Actually, no. Joke's on you, dumb dumb. I don't have money. Hey, man. What's up? What's going on? Yeah, fuck you. Rob normal people. He's too drunk at the moment. I'll come later. But I could also get drunk myself. But the problem is if I get too drunk... I forgot that Lifebringers give you 80 warmth. That's why they're called Lifebringers. Max is out my energy too, so I don't need to sleep. It doesn't actually max it. I just put it up to max. Alright, well. Another lock picking. Look at all this shit. We're getting three stacks. That was fast. Clothes are shredded. I'm cutting myself again. Oops.
more epic trash. Um, do I have bandages? I have actually a few bandages, so I will root around a little bit more. Ow, ow. Oh boy, you're cutting yourself a little more than you need to. There's the dumpster diving. Level 5, I think, but it's the rum we need, isn't it? Oh boy. Playing it real close to the fire here. Shit. More epic trash. Definitely worth it. There's a couple other big dumpsters I wish I had time to go through here. More epic trash? Man, really good day for epic trash. A box of wine. I had an outstanding favor for Monty, right? Yep. Sorry, not Monty Meisner. Monty's too shit-faced to talk to me right now, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I think Orange Stink might actually be impacting my charisma, unfortunately, but... Hey, man. Nope, he doesn't care. Oh my god, I don't even remember the last time I got a successful bag. Like, look at that. I can sell something to you. Would you want this picture of Jesus for 30 bucks? 21 crowns? Alright, well, you drive a hard bargain. I'm quite poor. And I'm also getting a little hungry, so we're going to buy another gas station burger. I'd rather not, but we still have to walk the dog, and we might get hungry before we can finish. Might have some bottles to give you. I have 16. Okay. Five willpower for a sub. Six willpower for a burger, though. I guess the burger gives us um, one and then three rolls. So we still have to make that grub for the hobos. Gas station burger. Um, I do have to take a shit. Let's get that sorted out before we, uh, you know, explode in our trousers like last time. Need to make a deposit. I smell too much. Okay. We're just going to go to the charity then. Which is cheaper, so fuck you. It's the end goal to get employed. The end goal is to become the Hobo King. But I think the game keeps going after that if you want to keep playing Hobo Simulator here. I have to drop some stuff off in our uh, our outpost here because I'm overweight. Making it very hard to get around town. I have five now. Four, five, shit. That sucks when you get him right away. I think he wanted something. I don't remember what he wanted. What the fuck's heavier than it should be? Oh, well, we'll never need that. This, these... Another thing Miser will do is he'll take junk and turn it into useful junk. I think it's 20 to 1, which is not great, but for how little useful junk we have right now, it might be worth it. Just take a couple of all of these. Try to have a couple on us. If I found any wood, I found a lot of wood. I think it's the wood that weighs us down. No, it's not too bad. <laughs> now, the the books are handy because there's a bookstore somewhere and we can sell them books. So that'll come in handy. 
I'm going to put that away. The, the stuff we can't fix is we're actually out of storage space in our base. That's fine. Um, so, yeah. Our pockets is weight-based, and this is slot-based. So we only have 20 slots worth of things. So technically, that one remarkable fabric is taking up a slot that we don't need to waste on. Same with the toys, which I'm actually going to dismantle all those right now. So you actually get some useful junk out of that if you're lucky. Wasn't there a hobo that gave me 50 junk for 100 useless junk? That might be Monty. That's two to one. That's really good. You also might have been thinking of a quest. Sometimes when you do a quest, they'll offer you several items. And it could have been 50 useless, over 50 useful. Or, yeah. So I hope it's the thing you said. I hope there's a guy that gives it to us at a rate of two to one. But it might have been a quest reward and we chose the more valuable item. Shit, I got too stinky at the last second. Can I shower? You really need it. 30 crowns. Oh. Oh. Take a shower. Perfect. Um, can I use a toilet? I have just enough. Can I something for free from the chair? I need some food. She gave me a grub, which is for the quest, but I also need to eat, so no, we're going to walk the dog as well. And then we're going to somehow craft hobo stew in the middle of the street, because they let you. There we go. So now we have some food to keep us sated. I'm going to actually use these bandages. Get our health up there. Man, those hobos, though. The hobos in Zizkov, there's a lot of dumpsters over there. We might stick to that part of town. We get five warnings now. I still need the rum. I forgot to see what rum goes for. Look at that. You almost get the entire dumpster. These ones? The sixes? If we can get to level six, we can check a trash can safely. Not too shabby. This should be Zizkov up here, right? Yeah, there's Bear's Hut. Let's go see what Bear wants today. Can't remember if we were short on trust with him. We were. One more trust. What do you got for me today, Bear? What's on your mind? What did you do? Uh, what did you do when you were younger? I was a biker, actually. Fuck. I know this quest. He wants a full set of biker clothes, which is insane. It's not worth it. You don't even have proper biker clothes. You suck at being a biker. Character traits also make a biker, and I've still got those. But having some biker clothes would be nice. Let me know if you find some. We'll see, because that's a dog shit quest, Bear. Thanks for nothing. I really need that dumpster diving promotion. That'll help our resources come in quicker. But he gave us a terrible quest today, so we have to wait till tomorrow. He has one quest I want where he's like, I use plastic bags to protect my hands when I'm in the dumpster. Can you give me some plastic bags? To which I'd say, yes, I have some on me because I knew this would happen. And then that'll give us the one trust that we can unlock the dumpster diving promotion with. But I'd also be content with, well, no. We want Dump Raider as well as Dumpster Diver because Dumpster Diver will apply to Dump Raider. All right, fellas. I don't think this is the best trade right now, but in the long run, we want these guys to tell the charity we're a nice guy. This is called a grub, a great makeshift meal from a bin. Have a little taste. He suspiciously nibbles on the food before he scarfs it down. Yummy, right? I can't believe it. This is better than the slop they served at the shelter. Now that you know how to make these, try to take care of yourselves from now on. The charity could use a little breather. Yeah, we'll definitely try. To independence! And the other ones don't like to talk. How you doing? I've been through worse. Okay, see ya. Hey, how are you? Leave me alone. Are you okay? No, leave me alone. Okay, bye. And, uh... We could go tell the charity we helped those guys. We have to finish walking the dog first, so let's do that. Monty's sober now. Let's go see him. I hope he's sober now. 
Whoops. That was the worst possible outcome. Dumpster's already empty and I fucking cut my hand anyways. Oops. We're not stinky. I went poopy. We can go begging for money. God damn it. I have a little more respect for my friend who just begged nonstop. I was like, oh, all you're doing is begging? It's very time consuming, but it really pays off later on. Because you'll just be reliably getting like 70 crowns from people. Do people just throw away bins of broken? Well, that could be anything, right? You know, like you stab yourself on a, a shard of chicken bone or an open can, maybe. Oh, right, because I have no charisma because of my clothes. I was like, man, nobody wants to talk to me today. It's because of my charisma. I have no money. Fuck you. Jesus. Epic trash again. That's good. An old radio. We can pawn that when we fix it. He The pawn shop will never buy busted stuff, though. Shit. Okay. Sneakers Deluxe. Why even fix my sneakers? Now we're going to find out if we can get maximum stuff if we scrap it when it's broken. That's the ideal outcome. Another broken kettle. We're going to have a huge pile of cash once we start fixing stuff. Well, not huge, but we'll have a pile of cash. This might be a workshop. There might be a guy guarding it. There is. Yeah, that's not public property. Oh, here's a shop I forgot about. There's a little store here that sells weapons. We don't fight, so this isn't a good place for us right now. And, you know, the whole no money thing. Is this from Russia? It's from the Czech Republic. Yeah, they got some stuff here. See, nails, rope, binding wire. I like to bind. I like to be bound. A crate for Meisner. 60 bucks, though. I'd rather find one in the garbage. Most things you can craft or find in garbage. So if you're just rich from begging, then shops are better. Look at this. Plus 15, plus 20 on a machete, plus 25 on a fire extinguisher. Really? Good for fighting fires and or other people. I guess these have probably better crit. Yeah, they have some built-in defense. You get like 20 defense on your armor and then 15 defense on a machete, you'd probably give a, a thug a real thrashing. Some more soap. I really got to stop double tapping it because see, it it stops you if you're about to step on, or it's like, oh no, don't step on that one. But if you're just holding it down or double tapping to move, it's very easy to accidentally go anyways. An old portable cooker. Um, I think we just put that in our base. I don't think we fix that into a hot plate. Where's clothes, hobo? I can never fucking find the guy. He's so important. You can never find him. That one's locked. This one is not. Dog's almost walked. Holy shit, that hurt. I gotta be a little careful here. I, what, what did I say? It was 100 or 60 for a first aid kit. We found a pharmacy last time. That was not the best outcome. How are we doing? I might... Is it raining? Shit. The clothes hobo? Is his base is not covered with a roof. It's it's locked, but it's raining, so the guy won't come out to check. But I am really fucked up. And not only am I really fucked up, I used all my bandages, so we are not going to be doing any more dumpster diving. What do you got for me today? No, he's kind of got a roof. Hey, man, what do you got today? He's got a Santa Claus hat. Biker Shades, which would be for Bear's Quest. But look at these things. $300. Practical flyproof protection. You can also take advantage of the I Am a Terminator sent back to the past look. So, yeah, these are worth five bucks. So we're going to shred the busted ones and put on the clean ones. Because the clean ones also have some water resist. These give me 
five fabric and two special fabric. But what if we swap them? Nope, you still get the same stuff, so wear it till it breaks and then shred it. Cool. Break the baby toys. Keep this shit. Um, I will fix my pants. No, I'll fix the scarf. Because it's got way more resist and way more charisma. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right, quick quest overview. We're just going to have to get wet. Um, not not right away, but where's the dog? I think we'll be able to complete the dog walk, just bringing him back to the charity now. Except it's this way. Did I drop off my book? Because the bookstore is around here. I didn't drop off my book. Let's try to find the bookstore. One of these nondescript side streets has a bookstore, and the guy will buy books from us. It's not here. We'll look for it when it's not raining out because we are going to get wet, but we can dry off at our base near the uh, charity. Let's get a blessing from the priest, too, for our morale regen. Look at all the stuff we have to juggle. Can I get a blessing? Can I get a big blessing? Give me a double dip of faith. So that should help our morale. So we are at... Se oh, yep, morale goes up when we go to the church. That is handy. I am soaked, which is really going to fuck up our temperature, but we got to go turn this dog in, because if we do it fast, we'll get some nice food. It's only 11 degrees outside. It's pretty nice. I wouldn't be in a rush to stand outside in the rain in 11 degrees, but it's going to be a hell of a lot better than when it's minus 20. Got the dog. Oh, it's fast. Well, we didn't dawdle. Some broth to warm us up. 80 bucks, three trust. Beautiful. Here's some of yesterday's leftovers. Thank you, ma'am. I helped those hobos to be self-sufficient. That's brilliant. Thank you for the initiative. Maybe I won't go crazy from this place just yet. At your service. Five trust. Ooh. A hiking med kit to keep us alive. The branded jacket might be nicer than the fur coat but I don't want to be overweight, so let's take the cloth bag. Thank you so much. Can I get something for free? I'm hungry as hell. Um, no, something to wear, because we can break it down for bandages. She gave me a scarf. Perfect. The most logical thing to turn into bandages. What do you have to sell today? What's a branded jacket? An ordinary jacket might be better than my fur coat. Oh, man, the large coat. Well, fucking 500 bucks. Better be good. Cargo pants might be better than jeans. 15 pockets, which makes sense. Um, did you need help with Bobby's? Already been for a walk. Okay. Um, so we'll just go dry off at the base. Yeah, the highways are kind of fucking weird. Oof. I'd say the rain's worse than the actual temperature because you get twice as cold when you're wet. And I don't think that rain's going to stop. We might have to go out and brave this. Ah, what am I going to do when we get out there? Back in the saddle. Look at this. He wants a jacket, pants, boots, and shades. That's like probably 2,000 crowns altogether. 
Monty's business. He needs that broken vacuum cleaner. Why does my head hurt? We need to go talk to the master hobo who supposedly knows everything. We tell Anatoly that we looked about his pawn shop. Sign up at the labor office for work. Zero tolerance. Crazy suggested calling in a favor with a thug called Razor. We can do that. We're near Zizkov. Veiled Vindicator. Um, we'll worry about that later. The four-legged friend. If you want to have a four-legged friend, you should ask around. The gypsy slum. I don't need a dog right now because we have to feed the dog. The armory. There's a guy near Drax that makes weapons and we forgot to talk to him. Um, so let's go talk to Monty first. Actually, now that I think about it, I think we have some favors outstanding as well we should check on. I have a little charisma back. Hello? Hello? Mashing E, try to beg for money as we go. God damn it, these 40% begs are going to be the death of me. Um, it was... I'm soaked. Hello? 40 bucks, there we go. Yeah, we really need to get two conversation passes in a row. Or the beg chance is too low. And then I think it's Nugget. That's the man over uh, by the train station. Thank God. Man over by the train station has a chance to... Um... Christ, get out of this rain. He might give us um, begging training, but he might just give us speech training instead, which I don't care about. It's the begging training we need. I'm going to go all in on this one because it's a nice big one. And we're getting some money. I need to stop at a, uh, a tobacconist and see what rum sells for. A bandage. Well, that's just that's just good luck. And then the broth gives us a lot and it warms us up. I need to find a fire barrel. There's a fire barrel. There's a fire barrel by the police station. I think we found. Ah, of course, a fucking thug catches me. There's a supermarket we can hide in over here. I'm just shopping for money. Turn these bottles in. Leather jacket deluxe gives water resist, but not cold resist. Yeah, dog food's a hundred crowns. There's a lemon though, if we wanted to make our own tea. They're only ten bucks. I will buy a lemon. Lemon? Coffee. Hiking med kit, yeah, 100 bucks for 50 health. Okay. Some paint thinner. Um, if I had more money, I'd buy that because some people ask for paint thinner so they can get high to their fucking mind. So that's a nice quest we can turn in. Wet naps are 10 bucks. Bandages are 30 bucks. So bandages aren't really worth buying. But wet naps are. I need to go to that fire barrel. Our health's going to go down if we don't warm up soon. And we can get rid of both these red stats. There you go. What do we have in favors? Meisner needs a Singer block. We didn't give Meisner his soap yet. And he also needs a crate. Yeah, we got a lot of Meisner quests building up. Yeah, unfortunately, we're so fucking wet that we can't dry off. There we go. There we go. Get that temperature back. Uh, we're kind of sleepy. We could eat. Uh, we're kind of stinky, but this soap's from Meisner. Got a porno mag when we get sad. I got a couple cigarettes, but also give us willpower. We have four willpower. So smoking gives, okay. Smoking gives us willpower, but smoking also makes us a little sick here, this one. Which I think, lemons fix. Can I crap that tea on the spot? Yeah. It's not as good as the one they gave us at the church, but it's still pretty good. Make a life bringer. Crafting's coming along now. Keyboards and old radios. What's this? A portable cooker? Works, but just barely. That's just for show. 
Um, if I had some duct tape, which we do back at the base, we could craft these things. We might start crafting things and pawning them. Just because money is not something we have right now. And we do need that money to buy the rum. I have 193 crowns. Let's go find a snack stall. Actually, maybe they just sell in the supermarket. I don't want to go out in this rain. Do they sell rum at the grocery store? 50 bucks. So if I spent all my money, that would be the three rum for a dumpster diving uh, expert. And I'm going to do it. No, this is 50. There's a very, very tiny chance that another store will sell it for less than 50. Nope. All right. Buy the rum. And even if for a quest, someone gives us rum as a reward, rum's pretty valuable among hobos for skill purchases so you can never have too much rum this is probably like the main street and I've, i'm almost never in this part of town when i play i never have money so i'm not really a shopping hobo that's the reason plastic bag Ooh, that was a good dumpster soak through what's this place it's a laundry This rain really needs to fuck off. Really sucks that Monty does not have a fire barrel. About our little deal. Found this vacuum cleaner. I've seen worse. This is going to work. Okay. What about the vacuum cleaner? Repaired and fully functional. Nice. What now? Now I'm going to sell it to you for 50 crowns. And you can do whatever you want with it. What? That's how it worked with Pyre. I repaired it and he sold it. Like on the street to random people. Probably. It's all about getting enough practice. I'm short one fucking crown. God damn it. I can almost buy a crafting uh, XP boost, but it's the promotion I give a shit about. Actually, I'll just sell him like one dollar worth of shit. There, now I can buy the vacuum cleaner. 50 cleaner. Do you know where Pyre used to sell the repaired stuff? Is there like a good spot? Are we going to be partners? Whenever you find something salvageable, bring it to me. I'll fix it and you can sell it. Can you teach me how to do it instead? That's way out of your league. Try me. What are semiconductors? Uh, they're insulators that, under certain conditions, but if those conditions change, they can act as conductors and transfer electricity. Thank you, Level 2 Crafting. Maybe you're not such a hopeless case after all, but tell me, why should I help create my own competition? Name your price. For 300 crowns, I can show you the basics. You'll give them eventually, sure. 300 crowns and some rum. I'm not going to teach you sober. Great. And also bring these broken items. Headphones, a kettle, a keyboard, a vacuum cleaner, and a radio. I think we have all those. No, I don't have headphones. How about a fucking spaceship? You want that too? If you can find one, sure. But the list I gave you is enough. We gotta have some teaching aids. Fine, 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 fine. It's gonna take a while to unlock that perk. We're gonna go pawn this vacuum cleaner. And then we're gonna have Bear make us a dumpster diving expert. I'm freezing. Not ideal. Offer a trade. I got a vacuum cleaner. 50 crowns exactly, so we broke even on that one. Obviously, we would uh, have made money if that was our own vacuum cleaner. Perfectly functional radio. Combat boots for combat. Stylish work shoes for also fighting. 
These are func those are functional headphones. We want busted headphones. Man, I have not put anything in our base for a long time. We really need, I need to warm up or my fucking hell's gonna drop again. Remember we have this fire barrel here we can use. Rain finally stopped. So we need to go home and scrap this scarf, right? Five. Actually, wow, five? This is way more cold resist. Fuck that punk scarf. I'm gonna miss the nine charisma, but I'm much more concerned about freezing my ass off. I'm gonna eat this grub because it heals us. The broth actually heals us even more, but who cares? Get our health in good shape. I need the rum heal me with its magical booze power. No? Okay, that's fine. Some tea. I have a lot of strained alcohol. If you can't help yourself, just go for it. All right, it did stop raining. Let's go have Bear help us with the dumpster diving, because... If our begging's lagging behind, we're going to need to get that many more resources from the dumpsters. And then when we give Meisner his soap, he'll teach us to be a dump raider, which I think he wants rum for that as well. Hopefully it's rum or... Hopefully it's just rum, because rum is generally when they ask for rum, that's cheaper than if they ask for money. Because rum goes for 50 and we can find rum in the garbage. He's drunk out of his mind. I'll come back later. Give up. He's so drunk he tried to fight us, but I'm not a good fighter. Hello? Hobo shelter? Knock, knock. Who's there? Poor guy from the streets. Nice squat that you've got here. Can I come in? Wait, you seem awfully familiar. Have we seen each other? I lost my memory not too long ago. Wait, it's you. I heard about you. You're the guy who's been going around helping everybody. That's me, the friendliest hobo. You seem like a good guy. I'll let you visit our squad if you want. Can I come in? There's just one small thing. What's that? Just a few rules. First, no hard drugs. Second, alcohol is tolerated, but only in small quantities. If you come stumbling in, I'll drag you to the drunk tank personally. Thirdly, we don't solve problems with threats and violence here. Got it? Okay. In that case, welcome to the fort. Remember, you're a guest here. A hobo fortress. This isn't considered stealing. I w oh, we might actually be out of the weather here. A shrine to our lord and savior, which I'm not allowed to use unless I'm a member of their hobo faction. Some more soap. Hello. Go away. away. All right. I will. I'm taking this. A Snickers bar. Actually, does it say Snickers on it? It says Snuckers. Nice try, lawyers. Johnny. Tony gave me the green light to talk to you guys, so I want to introduce myself. They call me Johnny. Welcome. Have you been here long? Not really. Maybe a year. Think I could move in here as well? Not my call to make, unfortunately. Tony decides that. I'm sure he'd let you stay if you make a good impression on him. Hmm. You're on the street, too? I don't even know for how long I lost my memory. That must suck. Not really. It's kind of liberating not knowing what I've forgotten. Still, I don't know what I'd do if that happened to me. Who knows? Maybe the memory will return to you at some point. Anyways, thanks for the talk. Welcome to the fort. All right, see ya. Need help with something? Teach me? Nothing. Request? Nothing. Need help with something? Well, there would be something, but it's a little silly. Could you give this carnation to Masha? Tell her it's from a secret admirer, and don't you dare tell her it's from me, understand? Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a wiener. Who's Masha? Dog food and scrap food. That must be the kitchenette. It's Tony. That is not what your picture looked like at the door. Alcohol is tolerated in small quantities. He's just nursing a bottle. Did I get it right? You're the one calling the shots? More or less. I was one of the first people to settle here. Most people consider me to be a leader. What else do you do here, you know, besides running the place? I make sure that no junkies or troublemakers get inside. This here is considered prime real estate, and a lot of people would like to get in here. So you're a kind of protector then? Yep, the first and last line of defense. I decide who's getting in and who's not. You're the first one in a long while. Well, I appreciate that. 
the Beggar King? I welcome the return of this tradition, actually. I wasn't around for the last king, but I heard homeless people had it better with a king to represent them. It'll also give us a sense of broader community. Who are you going to vote for? I'm not sure yet, but I don't see anybody as particularly worthy. Who presides over the voting? Someone called Harold. You'll find him in one of the squats in the center. Need help with something? Perfect timing. Floorboards need replacing before they rot away from under our feet. Are you afraid of some hard work? Maybe. We need materials, first and foremost. Wooden planks, nails, and some sheets of styrofoam. What? He won't? Oh, he, ooh. 90 trust for one willpower? Jesus Christ. That's a tall fucking order, Tony. There's a bathtub. Some garbage in it that doesn't need to be. They, so I'll be able to do my laundry, take a shit, and take a shower here if I move in with these guys. But there might be some sort of weird faction warfare that I don't know about. Like I'll piss off other hobos if I live here. Well, hello. It's Masha. Thought I saw someone new. I'm Masha. How long have you been here? Three years now. I'm one of the oldest members here, along with Tony and a few others. Hope I can move in here one day. If Tony lets you in to visit, you're on the right path. Are you cooking something? Tomorrow's lunch. I'm something of a mother hen around here. I cook, wash clothes for others, clean up, and care for my own child. You have a child? I really have to get this done. Let's talk some other time, okay? Okay. Um, this guy gave you a flower? An unknown admirer? It's from him directly. You mean from you? No, not from me. Huh. Who gave the flower? I promised I wouldn't tell. End of discussion. Come on. I won't tell on you. Okay, it was Johnny. Johnny, you say? Oh, don't worry. I won't betray you. You fucking better not. Need help with something? Take this food and bring it to Bear outside. He's all alone out there, the poor soul. It's like five feet away. Is that allowed? I don't really care if it is. He's hungry. Okay. Need help with something? Not at this moment. Request? No. Teach me? No. These people don't really have any skills. Which is weird because they own their own. Oh, they... S That's their bed. Sleeps with his eyes open. He's dead on the inside. Old textiles. I gotta remember to come back here every day. Good stuff. I have this food for you, bear. Ah, Marsha and her good heart. Thank you. That was enough. Teach me. Dumpster diving promotion. 300 crowns? You fuck. I fucking had a feeling it was going to have money hiding away in there. Where am I getting 300 bucks? I've got something for you. Oh, biker shit. Fuck you and your dumb quest. Yeah, boost confidence. Boost morale. Boost energy. All right, well, we got to figure out where we're going to get some money. Let's go back to uh, Meisner. 300 crowns. We pretty much have to beg to get that much in a reasonable amount of time. Maybe if I was lucky, I could dig up some furniture and sell it to Drax, but... How much scrap metal do I have on me? 11 I think it goes for $2. $3 if I sell it to the scrap metal guy. Is there any garbage over here? Well, maybe if we're lucky, Miser won't charge us for Dump Raider, but I'm sure he wants 300 crowns as well. I heard one can find some decent arms around here. From the looks of the place, I'm at the right address. You bet. Can I have a look? You can look, but don't touch. Where'd you get all this stuff? I make it myself. Most of it, anyway. Some I get through my contacts. I am here to make sure Forenz's guys are armed and ready when the shit hits the fan. Could you give me some? Sure. Only if you pay first, though. You're not from the gang, so no freebies for you. Okay. A hobo weapon vendor. Police baton. 
That's not too bad, actually. 20 defense, 15 attack. That's not the worst thing to defend yourself with. Yeah, he charges much more reasonable prices than that weapon merchant, like at the actual store. Hobos tend to uh, be very reasonable with their prices. Teach me weaponsmith. This is so I can make weapons. And then durability of all your weapons is drained slower. That's probably good if you've got some money to spare and you fight thugs. I wonder if I can mug thugs. Because I don't know if they give you stuff if you kill them. Well, you don't kill them. Everybody gives up right before they die. Barter? This is still going to go for 40 bucks. I need a lot more than 40 bucks. An old armchair, some water resistance, some storage increasing stuff. Teach me. No, 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 no. Chat? Well, how's it going? Shut up. Don't be a dick. Being polite ain't going to feed you out here. All right, well, fuck you. See, that was the speech mini game, but that doesn't come up often enough for me to want to spend money on that. Do a little bit of stealing here. Morale minus three. Yeah, I'm not going to steal just anything I fucking see for minus three morale. I will take the strange fabric. That's pretty valuable. Compared to the other shit here. Like, I don't think super glue is really worth anything. I'll take one just to be sure. I have a bunch of super glue at home, though. I forgot to grab that wood by the sewers today. There's a bunch of planks. I'd like to slowly uh, get like a roof and a wall in our base, even just for show. It's, it's a bit of, eh, maybe it's not a bit of work. We've been gathering a lot of stuff recently. Let's see. About that soap. Got some for you. You sure can have it. 50. Take this as well. A carnation. Are you my secret admirer? Teach me. Dump raider. Perfect. I've learned to be a dump raider. Thank you. And then now he's selling me a book. Oh, we never found the book merchant. Well, it's the middle of the night. All right, let's go explore some of those dumps that we've unlocked. This is one. I think you can find better stuff in the dumps, too, since it requires a perk to even access. Ooh, hard. That's going to be tricky. It's going to be really tricky. That might not even be worth it just yet. Yeah, let's not do hards. Cinder block for Meisner. Perfect. Talk about lucky. Hobo gods are smiling on us tonight. Hey, Will. Go through this as well. Medium all risk. An old shoe. Definitely scrap that. Don't want to wear sandals in Czech Republic. Because I think to answer Goldberg's question, I think the game is in the future. I think there's a calendar somewhere that says it's 2033. The miserable dystopian hellscape of the Czech Republic in the 2030s. It's definitely not in the distant past, because uh, one of the items you can repair and pawn is an old MP3 player you found. Am I overweight? I am overweight. Good thing we just got home. I, I don't know why I always go back here. I always think there's something in here, but there's not. There's two dumps in our base that we can look at. An old chair. 
That's tempting. But we could also just sell it for the 300 crowns. We really want those 300 crowns. I'll loot this as well. That's a little one. But even then, look at that. Another minigame. Shit. Oh, that's really bad. There we go. Ooh, a well-preserved couch. We should probably strive to have one of each furniture, even if, like, um, all the beds are functionally the same because they're beds. We should try to have one of each for the, the buff, because you saw that. It was 0.3 resist baked into it. So we've got a chair up here. Usable couch. Right there, we're gonna read we're gonna shuffle all this stuff around when I finally uh can get some walls and other useful things going. I am very overweight though. Let's drop off some shit. There we go. The 15 wooden planks would help them fix the fort, and I'm not in a rush to help with that. Got that brick. There you go. The roof was about to fly off. I want 50 crowns. A bit much, but okay. So we're trading trust for money in that case, because the next trust milestone with him is... The great life bringer he can actually teach us. Um, the comfortable bedding is pretty nice. But we need 80 trust, which is a really far off. Barters, got that shit still. Um, request. We can trade in, though. If we get 90 trust, we can get better prices. But we can trade in our hourglass for some stuff here. Like, can you lend me some cash? I think he never asks for that back. So we might be able to basically beg to the hobos. But I might be wrong. It might be a... Um, I'm going to boost my morale for free, and then we'll ask for some money. And then I need to take a shower. That foreboding look speaks volumes. Here, have some of my magic wine, and you'll feel better. Drinking alone is sad, even for people like us. That's better. That was 20 morale, so that was good. And then we'll just request some cash. I expect you to give it back. Who do you think I am? He might eventually ask for all this money, but we got a couple bucks out of him there. Do I have any furniture left that we have in place? No, I think I just need to break some shit down. All right, well, we're halfway to 300, which is pretty good. Make some cigarettes. I do need to make a new blankie. Break this stuff down. Apparently I forgot to put that bag on. Break that. Okay. A little extra now I can carry 80 pounds. Or I don't know, 80 stone. I don't know how they measure things. Did I check the cinema for furniture today yet? I have missed the cinema furniture so many times, Goldberg. And the answer is no. Because uh, there's a chance they won't have furniture. You have to get there early in the day. I'm not sure how it works. I have 14 scrap metal. We have a Snickers bar. I am very tired. Let's burn some newspaper and hit the hay. We really do need the cold resist, though, so... Actually, maybe not. I think if the fire's on, I don't need any cold resist. So we got to scrounge up some more money today. It's really just Meisner. The other hobos don't like us enough for us to like beg for an impactful amount of cash. We get like 50 bucks off Meisner every day, though. It's pretty good. I got to remember to do that since we're so fucking dog shit at begging. Oh, yep, the fire, the fire went out. See, there goes our temperature. Six degrees. Winter is coming, but... 
our base is a dump, but our our stats are coming along. I'm going to go to... You know what? I'm going to rest as much as I can. Then we'll just put a fresh newspaper in the fire. Top up our temperature while we're here at base. And then, yeah, buff faith regenerates your morale. So we can just go to the church and get a big faith blessing. Five, seven, eight, nine. We're tapped up. What's that? I, I, I'm at 50, so it's not too bad. It's a shame I can't scrap these yellow plastic bags, though. Let's see if we can make some walls and stuff for our base, even though they don't do anything, which is a real shame. I really would have liked it if uh, you could make an enclosed area of your base and, and uh, heat that easily, but uh, you can't. Now, when we fail this minigame, we just get tired. We don't lose the items. I think if you are on hardcore, you'll lose the items. Holy shit, the shoes are the hardest thing to fix for some reason. Just put some duct tape on them and you're golden. There we go. Oh, this is broken. Can't, I, I could make a big mattress and then try to sell it. But I'm going to hang on to it just in case we need it for a quest. But I will try to make some stuff for the base. We can make a shoddy roof. Make a wooden roof. That'll take all our styrofoam. The wooden walls take styrofoam. We can't make anything out of metal just yet. We're missing way too much metal. But I think we... Uh, not really. We, we can barely even make stuff out of tarp. We make a big tarp roof, though, which gives us some storage capacity. Let's do that. Let's do tarp roof. There we go. And then, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's do this. We've got the beginnings of a hobo fortress. The couch right next to the... No, this, um... That's just so I don't get cold when I sleep. There's a, there's a chance, actually. Um, It's a good observation, Justin, because you can... Upgrade things. Give us a little resist. Gives us a little resist as well. Sometimes you can upgrade things. This gives us cold resist. The hat is for cold and the umbrella is for weather. Can't upgrade any of this shit. That gives us some wet resist. And this gives us some wet resist. But we're really low on junk. Yeah, I was just right on top of my bed because I wasn't sure if one's better than the other. Technically, we only need one bed. Uh, but because they all give buffs, we want them all placed. So it depends on my mood where I sleep. It's two degrees out right now. Oh boy, I'm getting a little concerned. Right now, our temp we have 58. We want like 70 or we want like 70 or 80 by the time it starts to snow. And we are not on track for that, by the way. We really have to start finding a lot of stuff when we dumpster dive, and then basically we have to get really rich from dumpster diving and pawning things, and then we have to buy some actual winter clothes from uh, like a real store. They have like a nice uh, like winter hiking jacket, and then if we can get that whole set, we'll be in really good shape. I reek. That's a really bad outcome for right now. I was going to go take a shower today. 
cigarettes. We can use those to bribe thugs because we don't want to lose our money. I really need a fucking thing of soap. Yeah, yeah, the base the base buffs us even when we leave. So like that's your that's your encouragement to build a base and not just like hide out in like the other hobo settlements all night. Um, my friend who was in charge of the base is he basically made it a large garbage dump to like expand our storage capacity in the base because there were three of us, so we'd be bringing things home every day. An ordinary jacket. Um, that I don't think is good. That's not better than the fur coat. That day one fur coat was a fucking amazing find. Another cinder block. Although I don't think we have any outstanding cinder block quests. We can dump raider all this because we have dump raider now. Like, look at how sick. Tarp and old dishes. Incredible. If we can get to level six dumpster diving, that is everything but the giant dumpsters we can safely investigate. Like these garbage cans, we only need level six dumpster diving for. Even level five dumpster divings, you can get a lot done. Some soap. That was the shitty part of the soap. Actually, that's enough to get us to yellow so we can shower again. public transport ticket. The only way to get rid of those is to um, sell them to people when you're begging on the corner. A wet nap. Epic trash. We've been finding a lot of epic trash lately. Which is good because it's going to become more and more relevant if we try to craft shit. See what I tell you. You can find rum in the garbage. I don't know who throws away a whole bottle, but some idiot, and I just took it, is the answer. But yeah, no habitat for humanity for us. We could go live in the fort, but uh, they won't. we don't get buffs for living in the fort. We just get free access to their stuff. You could live in the fort, like in the interim, until you build up your base, but eventually your base will surpass any of the like NPC settlements you can uh, go into. If we can find the guts perk, we can actually like sweet talk our way into people's apartments and warm up in the, the cold, which that will be really handy to have, but I have no idea who teaches that. I'm even tempted to try and do some stealing over here. Most of this stuff is locked, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, do I have a porno mag? That takes expert anyways. I do have a porno mag. I think I'm going to risk getting arrested here. Let's do some scratch tickets. Maybe get a couple bucks. Yep. Ten crowns. That's good. Um, I really hope the scrap metal guy's open soon. Man, needs expert. There's a lot of needs experts. What the fuck? Oh, there's a dump raider on the ground here that's invisible. Not enough willpower. I've got a Snickers bar for that. Oh, I was hoping it was the uh, the dumpster kind, not the uh, makes you sad when you touch it kind. This is what I was thinking of. And I can actually take from this. This isn't locked. Oh, wow. Oof. Whoa. What is going on in this place? Some awesome bottles. Um, I think you can't pawn those. You need to find a person on the street willing to buy those from you. Ooh. Meetings. And yeah, I'm not going to be too choked up if we get arrested here. Because we've got a playboy to cheer ourselves up. 
See, that is the uh, the whiskey that someone's drank. So that turns into strained alcohol. That's not an item we consume ourselves. Oh, no. There we go. Another toaster. Ah, that's a lot of soap. That solves our being stinky problem. This dumpster's not locked either. Man, I should come by here more often. I thought this was all locked up factories. Some scrap metal we can pawn off. We're right here at the scrap vendor. I'm trapped. Not the worst day. I don't know what happens at 100, so let's just play it safe. Look at that. Now we're just a regular member of society again. Just give ourselves a street bath. I would really love to get that level 6 dumpster out. Because even these things, this is a level 6 dumpster. That was only plus six. So because I don't want to lose my money now, the next time a thug tries to mug us is I'm going to fight him. Because I am not willing to lose the money we've accumulated. So this is level 10. We need to be, we need to be level 10 or max dumpster diving. I'm not sure if the max is 10, but if you want to safely go around in one of these, you got to be maxed. Which is funny because by the time you're level 10 dumpster diving, you're probably rich enough to repair your clothes at your leisure. Ooh, some sheet metal, three mini games. Oh, a cool dagger. No wait, that's furniture. That's not for fighting, I think. But we can decorate our house. Another vacuum cleaner. Perfect. A broken lamp. Yeah, we're probably just going to be like a... Um, like a mechanic hobo. That's how we're going to make our money. Suits my play style. Good haul of shit again. Careful, careful. People are out in a better you open now? You are. I have some scrap metal to sell. We're getting close. We're getting very close to 300. Probably get by with some begging. How are we doing for stats? I'm quite peckish. I don't have any grub on me, but I can make some. 20 scrap becomes one grub, so we can make three grubs, and I'm getting quite sad. So I'll have to read that porno mag after breakfast. Talk about morning wood. That would have been a better joke if I just looted some plywood, but... I'm pretty clean, so we're going to beg. Thank you. Every crown counts. Oh man, good day to be a hobo. We have some bottles we can return as well. Perfect, I need three rolls for a grub. That's enough, by the way, we can go find a bear now. I'm starving. I'm just about to make the food, calm down. That'll also heal us, because we're a little scuffed up from our dumpster days. Life bringers as well. Look at that. Another level in crafting. We're a triple threat. We're handsome is the third thing, in case you were confused. Two grubs, and that'll keep us going for quite a while. We have to go poopy, but I do have money to spare. I actually don't have money to spare. Um, but I'm not shitting myself again. We learned our lesson. Celebratory rub. 
Oh, not only does it give you full morale, it gives you a little morale regeneration as well. Some cigarettes. I don't actually smoke very often, but cigarettes are just nice, easy crafting XP. I'd like to make a deposit. Your shitter, there you go. That's for you. Uh, I can walk the dog for the last of the money. We can also grab our free meal for the day. This is a nice big dumpster. We're going all in on this one. Three shrapnels left and there's three tiles left. I'm not going to risk it. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I got the double bag. Damn it. Sell something? Would you like to buy this meal voucher I found for 30 crowns? Just because I don't know where you cash those in, that was worth it. And that actually put us back in people you yeah, agree wholeheartedly. Ooh, double, double, ah. Uh, I'll sell you this picture of Jesus. There we go. See, if you're lucky, that was a trading level because our trading is so low. It's like if they... So a, a brief overview on trading is... I don't know why I'm not talking. Like I need to concentrate on this clicking mini game. Is the people are flagged easy, average, tough. Easies are easy to beg from. Toughs are tough to beg from, but they give you less and more money respectively. Um, they also will pay less for something. So easy marks give the least money in a trade. Uh, but tough people actually overpay for things. So if you can reliably trade to tough townspeople, that's better than going to the pawn shop. But you have to find the people. Like, you have to find a tough and successfully sell it to him. And you have to offer that thing. Because you can't just sell anything, as you saw. You, um, you're given, I think, a list of three or four items that you can try selling to them. And they'll be like, oh... Um, no, wait, that's stealing. Sorry, stealing is you can choose things to steal from. They'll only offer to buy one thing from your inventory at random. Um, and they'll all, they'll try to buy things like condoms and bus tickets, which are wastes of time on a tough. Like if this tough guy is like, oh, yeah, I'll buy that bus ticket for 20 crowns. Um, that's shit. 70, there you go. That's the, like, just, you're better off just going with the bag as well. Because if you successfully trade, the conversation's over. Can I get some food for free? Tasty grub. That's I can't make tasty grub yet. That's superior to the grub that I cook. What do you have available today? That's nothing. I'll walk the dog. We'll be right back. Okay. Um. Now, I have 400 crowns. I'm tempted to actually go to the clothes hobo in the off chance he has a nice winter jacket for sale because... He will every now and then sell things for cheaper than a store. Well, I think he always sells things cheaper than a store, but it's mostly shit. But I remember because it was one of the last things I did when I played is, Christ, I'm getting cock blocked. Here. I need to go to Bear, but there's a thug right there. Um, the best winter coat I found was the Expedition Jack, and it costs 10,000 crowns. But the Clothes Hobo will sell his for 4,000 crowns. And that's a big deal. Like, that discount adds up when you're talking 10,000 crowns. So once we clear that many crowns, we want to go see him every day and see if he has a nice shirt for us. Or pants. He can sell He can sell the whole set. So we're effectively paying half price if he has something we want that day. But he's a little out of the way. We don't really go to that part of town. We should, for that reason alone. But I don't have the crowns. But even a thousand crowns might get us a nice uh, in-between winter jacket, because even when it starts to snow, it won't get too cold for quite a while. Why did I come to talk to you? Alright, oh, dumpster diving expert, please. There. So, 40% less junk means 40% more usable items, is how you want to think of it. And then 80%, so almost the entire bin will be useful once we're uh, a master dumpster diver. Like, look at this. Well, don't look at it right now. Now we're not finding as much stuff, but... Like, that's a fair bit of treasure. Two minigames? It looks like the minigame also got wider as an expert. 
the next time it's um well not the next time it's the next time we're back at like a, a, a base probably the hobo base by drax because that barrel never burns out that's always a great place to relax and uh check your menus or go to the bathroom in real life i mean really just close the game in real life but this is a stream it's theater for you the viewer um oh no bear help Fuck, fuck! I couldn't click the door in time. I was going to cut through the fort. Hey, man, what's going on? Tell me a joke now. What? Do I speak fucking Chinese or what? I want to hear a joke and make sure it's funny. I'm on a rum diet. I've already lost three days. <laughs> good one. Okay, fuck off now. Okay, bye. That was a good outcome. Actually, I have smokes too, don't I? Yeah. Sometimes he asks for a smoke, sometimes he asks for a joke. Um, I think he'll always do one of those, but he might still ask for your money sometimes. But I think those two things are like a buffer to protect us from the mugging. And obviously, a uh, joke is free, and a cigarette is like 20 bucks. So those are amazing investments to stop getting mugged out of hundreds of, maybe even thousands of crowns. Um, we're walking the dog. We're not making much dog walking progress, but could be worse. It's raining out, isn't it? That is worse. Yep, it's raining. Is that charisma based? Um, I'm not, I'm not completely sure what triggers what he asks for. But I just know there's several, there's several ways that conversation can go. We're going to get a little wet here, unfortunately. We're kind of near our charity outpost. Some newspapers to dry us off, so that's worth it right there. It's raining. Um, the police don't care, though. They have raincoats on. I have a shitload of lockpicks this time, but I can't find the... Good haul there again. I think we are at the point now where my crafting is high enough and we're finding enough cloth that we should just fix our clothes. It's only a problem if we get two good clothes like that very high quality winter jacket I said um, I think we need like level 5 or 6 crafting to fix that and it's still very difficult now I have durability on my clothes and that's a hard mini game but we're going to try it because uh, the difficulty is directly tied to what can be in it as well and look at that because our dumpster diving went up um, the perk gave us a little pip on the mini game as well another crafting material which is for something um, Christ, I'm freezing and I'm soaked. So that's the two stats means your HP. Actually, I think even a single stat in the red can cause your HP to go down. Some devil horns will scrap those. Definitely need to make a stop over in our base. All right, come on. We have like 70% health. We're in good shape. Um, I don't think the dogs walked all the way yet, though, unfortunately. But I don't think we've been taking... Eh, we might have been taking too long. We might not get a good reward for the dog today. Nope. Um, I'm going to turn the dog in. Fuck it. We'll dry off later. Because that's going to be 80 bucks. Which, I mean, we're already back at 200 after buying that dumpster diving promotion. It was a good day for begging. It was really that uh, that tough difficulty guy gave us 70 crowns. And that was great. Uh, me smelling is not good, but I do have 
Actually, I think it's better to use this stuff here. I'm back with Bobby. Sliced ham and a loaf of bread. Man, it's a shame that you can't eat like part of the loaf. You eat the loaf all at once. 80 bucks is still good. Something for free from the charity. I've already been here today. I think it's better to use the shitter and shower than it is to use those items out in the field. I need to use the laundry as well. Okay. I got a shower as well. 30 crowns. Perfect. So our stats are in great shape. Now we just need to dry off back at the base. Well, the baby base. Our... I said that I was going to try to make the baby bases where we go, but we don't actually have a lot of functionality in our base just yet. Once, I, Like I said, once we start getting like the toilet and the shower, then our base will be more valuable than the charity. Well, I mean, we get 80 bucks from the charity every day, but eventually we'll reach a point where we make so much from begging, we don't want to be in this part of town. Like, we don't need to go to the charity every day. Let me dry off first. Actually, I'm going to put... I'm going to see how quickly I can go to the bathroom because I'm fucking crazy like that. I'm going to put a bunch of newspaper in here then I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick and then when I come back... We'll tend to uh, some crafting stuff. All right, the rain didn't stop, which is a little disappointing. So I'm going to just stand over here and get wet. Um, oh, wait, there's a little roof on the crafting bench, I suppose. I um, think we probably will break the clothes. Yeah, I don't know. Some of these might be worth some money. I'm actually going to sell these. We have an okay amount of uh, textiles for now, so. Okay. Jacket's in pretty rough shape, but I can fix everything else. Apparently I don't have enough of these. Uh, I can make useful junk now. Ooh, that makes me sleepy, though. Nope, I get wet under here. That's no fun. Okay. Can I make any food? Food we make on our person. All right, get the fuck out of here. I got all wet again. The Chev isn't actually a weapon. It's just a decoration for the base. It is... Where is it? It's going to be grayed out because you can't burn furniture. Although, ironically, you would. There it is. Yeah. It's, it's considered equipment small. Items are categorized. And uh, having a bunch of each category in your base unlocks a perk. Um, I really shouldn't be sleeping in the middle of the day, but I don't have an abundance of energy drinks. That's 20, 30. No, I can actually drink all this stuff and we'll be ready for the day. Makes me a little in the tummy area, a little uncomfortable in my tum tum. All right, let's check our quest. What do we got here? That's for the fuck that. Uh, Beggar King. I'm not sure how to do. Uh, we need. A pair of broken headphones, and then Monty will teach us how to fix things, which we really, well, we don't need, need, but it'll help us make some money. Selling things, market research. We can go talk to Anatoly. And tell him that nobody's visiting his pawn shop. And it looks like the rain stopped. Some antidepressants. Porno is superior to antidepressants, but antidepressants are still pretty strong. It's because the antidepressants make you sick. Yeah, they give you 30 in the stomach. But they also give you a bunch of willpower. We don't have that much willpower, so I don't care. Let's get our faith buff. I want to talk to you. Hello? 
Agnes told me you'd helped her through some rough times with charity. I help whenever I can, Reverend. God bless. I'm sure there's already a spot reserved for you in heaven, my son. Hopefully I keep my reputation up there, squeaky clean. Uh, you needed something? I don't, but since you're asking, old Miss Ludova was just here, eyes full of tears. Apparently her dog has gone missing. You know the streets. Maybe you'll be able to find it. It would mean the world to her. I'll see if I can find the mutt. Give me that double blessing. Not now, only the regular, because it took ten to uh, ask about the quest. I can find free flashlights? Did I find a flashlight? You can find, yeah, you can find flashlights, but we really wanted one on that first day. Uh, so I think I'm probably better off scrapping them for electrical parts. What is this? Shut up, I'm stalking my wife. I think she might be cheating on me, and I refuse to pay for a private eye. There's only Strecker in this part of town, and I heard he likes his booze a little too much. Strecker sounds like my kind of man. Yeah, that's a smart thing to say. Good for you, beg. Damn it, sell? No. Yeah, I'm not too interested in selling. We're probably going to avoid stealing altogether for now, or maybe even the entire playthrough. Stealing is neat and very profitable, but... It doesn't really help us. But yeah, I'm trying not to depend on the people. Because uh, we want to have, like, a base and, you know, like, survive on dumpster food. Um, oh, right, the bookstore. I have the books. And we were going to go talk to Clothes Hobo, weren't we? Speaking of Clothes Hobo, this is a clothing store. Hello. Yeah, it's all kind of shit. Do you have a branded jacket? What was branded jacket? Oh, yeah, wow. Re just regular coat beats the shit out of. Oh no! See, this is seven hundred dollars, and the charity was selling this for four hundred. So I don't think the charity will sell end game stuff, but apparently, if the charity has a large coat, we should try to grab it. It's going to be hard to have that much money on us, though. A green grocer. Hello. Do you have a watermelon? What? Sells cucumbers. No lemons. Can I read the books for skills? I don't know. Maybe, but I'm more concerned about money right now. They won't, sorry, they won't give us actual skills. They just give us, like, XP. I think this is the street the bookstore is on. There it is. Labour Petula. So, you buy old books? Yes, yes, if they're in a reasonable condition, I'm willing to buy them. What do you do with them? I either fix them up and resell them, or I make them into artsy diaries and notebooks. Hipsters can't get enough of these. What? I might have some old books. It depends. I buy almost anything, but serious literature is much more valuable. I'm also interested in quality materials like old or interesting styles of paper. Thank you. Sell old books. Apparently I have some interesting paper. I'll sell it for 20 crowns, which gains his trust, and I will sell him some books for 30. We made 50 bucks. Request. Do you have any spare materials? Would you happen to have anything really rare you could spare? If I can get him to 30 trust... He'll give us stuff. I don't know what he'd give us. Probably just garbage, but nothing's gar nothing's truly garbage to a hobo. A home appliance store. Just broken headphones. He has an MP3 player, a vaporizer. Oh man, this guy wants 125 for a flashlight. Fuck this place. Um, it's already midday. We're probably not going to get anything at the theater, but we're by the theater. 40 bucks. I guess if your begging is high enough, you can just beg all day and then buy like a hamburger and some newspaper to burn and then go to bed. Yeah, the, the one hobo, uh, if we can read enough books, we would unlock him. And he, I think, was better at begging, but he gets sleepy very easily, which isn't the worst, but... Something like that, I think you're better off being regular hobo. Uh, I think st that I, that's why I would say stinky hobo is the best, because he finds twice as much stuff. Uh, and you'll never find twice as much stuff. 
without him, but like you can make money begging by just being a high level beggar. Hey, toilet paper. Didn't someone want deluxe toilet paper? Yeah, that is a quest, but maybe we haven't seen it yet. Some people ask for toilet paper when they're taking a shit. Oh, no, we, yeah, we did. We Because we spent the last of our money on that deluxe toilet paper for Monty last time, didn't we? Let's see what you got for me today. He's too fucking drunk. Can I borrow 200 crayons? Sure, we should have buy some rum. Have some, okay. We're buddies, no? The biggest. Oh man, he got me really fucking shit faced, but I stole 20 bucks from him. I was gonna sell him. I was gonna sell him this stuff. Well, the downside is now I gotta find a bench to sober up on. I got a bit of a wobble to me. Some good shit in here, though. An old printer. That's great for pawning. An old vacuum cleaner again. Yeah, we got a lot of shit we'll be able to pawn when Monty finally teaches us how to fix stuff. Four hundred bucks. We might just we might upgrade our coat soon. We're not quite near that very nice winter coat, but it's gonna start getting colder, and if our cold resist is too low, we'll have to repeatedly go back to fire barrels, and that just takes up time in our day. Later, loser. Catch me if you fucking can. Do -do -do -do. You sober yet? Yeah. I'll come later. I'll come later. So people won't give us money when we're shit faced. Oh, nope. There we go. We sobered up just a little bit. Perfect. We're not allowed in the charity or the fort when we're shit faced. Um, and I'm guessing most people won't, won't want to talk to us. Some people might take pity on us and give us money uh, when we beg, but generally this is not a good state to be in. But it was worth it for the 200 crowns, I'd say. Hey, buddy. I can when I'm... I think, I, I think when you're red. I think red drunk is too much. Oh, this guy's... Uh, man, Strecker gets around, apparently. Professional pipe layer. Hello. A ten dollar lottery ticket here, thank you. Mini game right in the center. Lucky me. Can't believe I fucked up an easy. Whoop. Don't need this. What's this? Clothing store, what do we got? Oh, they've got some nicer winter jackets here. Cold resist fourteen plus eight. It's pretty good. Three thousand though. Twelve and eighteen. This is more well-rounded, but this is a winter jacket. Well, it's called a winter jacket. With this jacket, winter's only an inconvenience. That's a fucking lie. We need like climbing Mount Everest clothes to survive in the winter as a hobo. Work jackets nineteen for one thousand. Yeah, I would say that we don't want to ever go to a clothing store. We always want to try to buy it off hobos. 
Hello, prostitute. Hey there, beautiful. The fuck you looking at, creep? Want something? You're just going to stand there and stare at me. Dumb whore. Well, there's condoms. I might be able to acquire her services if I have a condom in my inventory. That's the pharmacy where we found the med kit earlier. Yeah. Plus 50 health, but we actually have a lot of health right now. A supermarket. Ah, look at this. 34. Good money. What's this? $2,000 for a backpack that gives us 100 pounds. I'm tempted to buy that paint thinner now, though. It's only 50 bucks. One paint thinner, just in case anyone ever wants to go huffing. Um, and then maybe a roll? I'm not sure. Yes, I need a couple rolls. That's pretty good. I mean, three bucks to uh, turn your garbage food into good food. You're just trying to go to the grocery store, and there's some guy squatting in front of the door adding his secret hobo spices to a dinner roll he just bought. Mmm, delicious. Where's the movie theater? Oh, right, there's a hobo fort right here, too. The demolished block. This is... It's not in the best spot, but I like the shape of it. Nice and compact. Probably put a roof over a lot of it really easily. I mostly like this, because the barrel is right near the crafting bench. So you could put like a bed right here. Where are we? That's actually a very central location. Well, that's not true. I don't think you can actually cross the river, even though it says that there's stuff here. Maybe. No, because it's all highways. You have to get across on this thing somehow, and I don't know if you can. Can I, can I rummage through this? I wish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck, he can pull you out of the tobacconist. Tell me a joke now. Uh, have you heard about the guy who stole a calendar? Yeah, I heard he got 12 months. Fucking close one. Fucking close one. That dumpster diving's taking a long time now. This is when you would want to, like, be friends with Bear and buy raw XP from him. Which I think you can only do once. So it's not as amazing as you think, but... Hotel President. Intercontinental. Uh, any of these sobering up? Confidence. 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 I think it's the type of bench, so it's not like, yeah, these ones will all be confidence. But I would love to find one to help me sober up. Even though it's only 12 outside, it might be a little hard to sleep in 12 degree weather. Man, 400 bucks. I don't even know what to do with that much. Hello, everybody. How'd you get here? Get lost. I'm for the inspection. Show me. Uh, show, so watch out and show me all of what you're doing here. Um, and then there's a chance I could try to sell him something, which is dumb because all my stuff's broken. Have anything to spare? Oh, shit. So I guess you would want the speech mini game. Oh, speaking of mini games, let's go see if that begging guy will help us. Because uh, with that wad of cash we have right now, I'm willing to buy some begging XP because that'll pay dividends later on. Some soap to cancel out the stink that we're getting. It's a couple soaps, actually. Some nitrant and experimental medicine, which warms you up. And a lot of soap. I'm only 5% stinky, actually. We're becoming quite the garbage spelunker, though, aren't we? Oops. Another pile of books. A retro denim jacket. Sell that to Close Hobo. He's got to be sobered up by now. It's almost sundown. 
An old can, steal everything else. Was that a Dump Raider one? No. The one problem is it took me so long to get Dump Raider is I don't keep an eye out for dumps anymore. All right, there's a pretty good chance this guy's going to come out for smoke break. They always like to come out when you're trying to steal their shit. But there's that weapon shop right nearby, so we can hide in there until he gives up. What's this? Steak. Slightly burned. They just had to throw it out. Scrap food deluxe. I don't know what scrap food deluxe is for. We probably use that to make tasty grub. But I'm not sure where to get that recipe. Shit. Hooray! Just grabbing all this old steak and garbage bags quickly as they chase me down. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, he's taking all the garbage! <laughs> of all the things to get angry at people about... Hi, what's up? You're not supposed to be here. This is private property. What? Oh, whoops. Uh-oh. That's fine. We got a nudie mag. Who am I collecting wood for? The fort needs wood to fix their roof. Uh, but it's a lot of wood, and I don't want to help them because they don't seem to have anything. I'll sit here and pass the time. Actually, I'll sleep for a little bit. Just chew up some time. Um, I'm just going to sleep like this. I don't want to waste a blankie in here. Yeah, nobody in the fort seems to know how to teach me anything, except the leader will give us uh, willpower at 90 trust, and 90 trust takes a long fucking time. Uh, even Meisner is kind of hard to get 90 trust at. You can grab multiple quests a day from him. My personal belongings have been returned. Now, the problem is, is I can't drink to fix my morale, because I'm already super drunk. Oh, I'm out of porno. Lifebringer's good for morale, though, isn't it? Nah, it's only 20. I'm gonna buy a nudie mag. I mean, we're rich. Pornos are 60. We have 450. And we're gonna go burn up all that hourglass. Time resource. Uh, and take a bunch of money off Meisner. The 200 bucks from Clothes Hobo was a pretty good, uh, pretty productive day for us. Actually, we're by the police station. Speaking of clothes, Hobo, if he's there, we're going to sell him our clothes. We only have 300 bucks, so... We're not going to get anything too amazing. Oh, that thug's not here anymore. Good. There was a fire barrel right over there I never noticed. Some paper, we can sell that to the bookstore. There's a mini game there. Oh, sweatshirt to sell right as we get here. Yeah, look at this. Out of the rain. I just have to get better at figuring out how to get to him. It's a bit of a maze back here. He's too drunk at the moment. Jesus Christ. Yo, you're cool. You're cool. Let it go. Christ, I don't know when he's going to sober up for us. What's this? Oh, these places. Presumably you could steal the stuff in here, but I'm always afraid because these guys always seem to be passing through. Really got to figure out who teaches us guts. You can get a lot done with guts. That would be for stealing. These I think we would add. Nah, these might also be for stealing. We'll see. I just want to rummage around and get dumpster diving XP. Yeah, I don't care about this. Just this drunk man's taking all your styrofoam? It's mine now, fools. Hobo tough life. Give me your cigarette butts. Hello? It's a pub. Hector. You're a solid basher. I could squash you like a bug. Can't argue with that. Bartender? Order. 
What would you like? I would like to have... Do you charge less? No, everything charges the same. But there's... I can buy glasses of beer. Leisure Suit Larry One style. A good smoke and a very good smoke. Smokes give you faith. I did not know that. Well... Maybe not my homemade smokes, but store-bought smokes. But I think my homemade smokes are better for keeping my morale in check. All right, another successful day as a hobo. Let's go back. By which I mean let's cut through here and try to steal shit. Ah, this is the... Uh, if we get guts, we can shit in the street. And we also use guts to go inside buildings we're not supposed to and just warm up. So yeah, guts would be a nice one to have. Another broken vacuum cleaner. Ooh, too many games. Picture of our Lord and Savior. The broken lamp. Beyond selling those to passers-by and making, sorry, beyond making the single Christ, uh, Christian shrine, which I think is the only purpose, we sell those to strangers, and then those items serve no purpose beyond that. I think this is dump raider stuff over here. We go. Nope, that's for the other kind of dump raider. If you're a scat enthusiast, which is not a real perk, um, oh fuck. There's a chance that I can block pick it from up here, and that gives me a bunch of time to get away from the guy that comes to investigate. That's Anatoly's pawn shop, I think, through the gate. But he might be closed by the time we waddle over there. Another kettle? That's a porno and it's mine! Later, loser! Please tell me you're open, thank Christ. <laughs> Man, garbage, flopping off of his coat, sprinting towards your store, triumphantly holding a magazine that's clearly pornographic while a man chases them yeah let him in how's that research i overheard something so one guy told me that someone said you'd been out of business for ages but he liked to call in here sometimes he said what the hell who told him that he didn't say he didn't know i mean didn't recall that could mean i wasn't being paranoid after all what if someone really tries to discredit me i should probably advertise more mm, okay Thanks for the info. Here's something for your trouble. Ask around some more, okay? I want to know more. All right. It's a shame you don't have more customers. Tell me about it. Competition doesn't help either. That witch around the corner, witch around the corner. Some Miss Sperna in her shop, we have everything. They really do sell practically anything for low prices. Why would anyone want to come here? Something needs to be done about that. Clearly. I'm thinking some badass intimidation tactic, like a horse head or something. I'm not really sure about the horse head. Well, no need for that big. Any dead animal will do. Find some and just drop it in there somewhere. What? Me? Who else? I'll pay you. All right, where am I supposed to get a dead animal in the first place? What do you think in the garbage? Or try asking some of your friends, although I guess one has to be insane to collect dead animals. Come to think of it, I saw one just the other day. He was rummaging through the trash outside and kept saying, for Keki to himself. It was near the business center, that huge high-rise. Ah, the reward should be worth it. I don't know, you saw him. What do you got today? Leather jacket, a vaporizer, some fixed headphones. I do. This is what I was talking about with the dead rat and the dead birds. Now, we have to be careful here because we have to do one of the like the side-to-side -side, uh, hot-cold mini games. And if we do it wrong, we get banned from her store because she sees us just putting a fucking dead animal on the ground. That was a good pack of cigarettes there. Um... 
So I guess in this interim state, when we have some money but not a lot of money, is we might go and check Drax and Meisner for furniture. Work on our base. I'm very sleepy. Um, you don't really sleep off being drunk unless it's a special bench, but we're going to try to sleep off some of the drunkenness anyways. How many bottles do I have? Might be able to turn in a few bottles before everything closes up for the night. And uh, she gave us a loaf of bread and some sliced ham, so we're not too concerned about our hunger. Really wish I could learn some more recipes. Like the Greater Life Bringer and uh, the Tasty Grub would be very handy. I think there's other cooking recipes I never found out. Drunkenness does last a long time, and one of the characters, if you recall, starts addicted to alcohol. Um, and I think he's terrible for that reason. God damn it, that, the clothes hobo really needs to sober up. We found a lot of nice shit today. Look at all this stuff. Food bag could have anything in it. We can get 10 scrap food deluxe if we break this chicken down. Pretty good. Now what am I depositing? I'm really overweight today. I think it's the clothes. Bit of a double whammy. Oh, it's probably the 192 junk. Yep, that'll do it. Um, put that away. I have some epic trash again. Some more wood. There we go. That's pretty lightweight, all things considered. I have four carnations. We can give carnations to the seamstress for stuff, and I think we're going to go give her a bunch in the morning. Fix my clothes. It's getting pretty cold outside. There we go. Managed to get the whole set fixed, so we should be a little more careful in the dumpster tomorrow, but... Make a couple bandages when we get scuffed up. And then we could even make some more stuff for the house if we wanted to. But we probably shouldn't, because I don't think the actual walls level us up. Let's check. Our milestones. If I can get more small equipment, we'll get plus five points again. If I place one more equipment level one, that's the dagger. That'll give us a boost of points. Start building. Whoops, whoopsie, whoopsie. Show list of items. There's my hobo knife. Triumphantly on my moldy pillow. Can I place this? Does this count towards the uh, 10 out of 10? It does. So we're almost at that. Show list of items in the base. No, okay. Okay. So yeah, one more small, one more equipment. Oh, look at the four tarps will give us a level. So we want a little bit of everything, apparently. So if I can get four pieces of tarp, four pieces of shoddy, well, three. Three shoddy or three tarp. Let's try that. We'll run out of rope. What else can I make? Apparently we really need rope for the shoddy. Okay. Oh, I hope that wasn't the noise of me just shit myself. I heard something. That 
And we can do this guy in the corner. I think that doesn't look too bad. It's like we live in a chicken coop. Fortunately, didn't get us any milestones. I really want that extra plus five to a mute to resistances will be a huge boon. Yeah, one more equipment small. Never played Fallout 4. I played Fallout 76. Um, I don't know a lot about Fallout 4. Feel free to join the Discord and post any Fallout 4 mods you'd like to see. Yeah, I would really like to get these willpower buffs, but I want the resistance buffs more. Um, can I make any base stuff? Things like um, storage or private dump it was. The toys for private dump. And that gives us a bunch of inventory room. Well, it gives us three extra slots, which is a lot. Ooh. I smell. I think we found a lot of soap today, didn't we? Sports pants. I think those are an upgrade from the jeans. Sports pants are. We lose the charisma, but uh, it gives us a lot of resistance. So we'll switch over to those. More clothes we can sell. Can't scrap these for some reason. Oh, oh we have a third cloth bag. Wow. We won't be overweight for a while now. I'm quite sleepy and quite smelly. Uh, just in the off chance Meisner needs soap, though, we'll hang on to what we have. There's also a chance Meisner needs a cinder block. We, we have a bit of furniture shit back at the base Meisner might want for a quest. Juice. I still haven't found that crate for you, though. Um, we could try to build up his... Oh, so it looks like the hourglass is tied to how much trust they have. Um... A tattered punching bag is tempting. Make sure bag in great life bringer. Um, I will make that. Because that, that'll be really good for keeping us warm. Um, and then I think I'm actually just going to board. No, we'll go for quests today. I'm starting to think my hat's getting moldy. That sucks. That's no good wearing a moldy hat. That's not. But like I said, I really like that hat. I can't live without it. What if I get you a new hat? That'd be fucking awesome. How's it going? You doing good? I can feel myself getting sick. I need a strong tea. What a coincidence. I have the tea you gave me. There you go. Look at you. Thanks, pal. I tore a bag I used to carry small things I find in the garbage. I'm fucking mad. I can get you a new one. About that bag. Oh, yeah. I'm not giving you a fucking cloth bag, Meisner. Take a plastic. It's not what I expected, but it'll be useful. Just take it then. This is going to sound unbelievable, but I do wash myself from time to time. Well, well, well. I have the soap. There you go. That'll get us to 60. You're welcome. Take this. Can Three cans of beer. Sure, why not? Today sucks, let me tell you that. Every day sucks. Not true. Just the other day, I managed to get so much money to people at the train station that you wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah? You know, sharing's caring's, right? Yeah, fine. Take the 50 crowns. Holy shit. Thanks, pal. I'm not going to turn that down. 63 trust. If we can get it to like 70 trust, that's a lot of money we can borrow. Like request. Can you give me some money? There. 25 bucks for 10 trust. And then there's a chance because there was a there was one to keep pressing him. We might get more relative relative to how much trust it consumes. Oh, there's a chance that I uh, there's a chance they'll give us something for fixing the fort, but I mostly just want to stop seeing quest pod up pop-ups whenever we grab um 
Oh, fuck it. What is this? Oh, I can just click it through the wall because this game was made in the Soviet Union. I'm sure people that live there don't like it when you say that. I, uh, I remember... <laughs> I think I was speaking to a uh, a Scottish person once, and I commented on the fact that the Queen's on their money. They did not fucking like that. They did not like that joke. So I bet people that uh, live in the former Soviet Union don't like it being called the Soviet Union. Ooh, rubber boots for the rain. We can... Ooh, man, this was a good one. And some shoes... God damn it, that clothes hobo really needs to sober up for us. Yeah, that's what we were rooting around in. All right. We really need to sleep, and then hopefully... Uh, the clothes hobo, Shrug is his name, by the way. Hopefully Shrug is sobered up. That's the one downside, depending on hobos, for your daily needs. Is that sometimes they get blackout drunk. I will lockpick this just for the skill. I don't think it makes us sad unless we take stuff. It doesn't. I, I'll take the textiles. I, I'm actually going to take that smoke. It's a quality smoke. Take that and I'll take the textiles. So we gave Meisner our good soap, but I think we have some scrap soap to give ourselves a little sponge bath when we wake up. What do you got for me today, Drax? I have some furniture, but I'm not in a rush to give it to you. Because this gives storage. And it's considered level one equipment, which might get us a milestone. A chair. Some comfy bedding, which is a perfect place for napping. It's interesting that... Yeah, I don't know if they actually do different things. Because, see, this one can't level up. These ones can. So we already have this antique sofa in our base. We don't have a diner seat or a leather couch. I'll chat, by the way. Today sucks, let me tell you that. I'm hungry too, buddy. Hang in there. You don't feed your dog? I don't even feed myself. My pockets are a little too shallow. Even the cheapest can of dog food's a fortune to me. I have dog food, actually. But that dog food, I have one. Thanks a lot. At least that's taken care of. How about some reward, huh? Um, We have to become an expert lockpick to open the best dumpsters, so that's some synergy with dumpster diving. So we are just going to go for trust and befriend him. That was only one trust for dog food. I should ask for some money then. You're welcome. And barter, they're just that shit. I'm not giving him that dresser. That might give us the milestone, like I said. Is there any treasure over here? I've never been over here. There is treasure over here. What did I tell you? Some rum. Um, I don't think I want this other shit. It's just scrap food. Scrap food for morale is not a good trade, I think. Canned beer and homemade cigarettes. Some booze. I really do got to get to sleep. 14 energy. I think it's going to start to really like knock us out. Saw that a couple times when we were really hungry. When your stats get too fucked up, you start fainting every now and then. Which not only is it bad because it hurts a bunch, it's also... Annoying to lose control of your character. Nobody likes to lose control of their character in a video game. It's kind of wacky that so many games do it. Wish I could get a stronger flashlight, but I guess it's really only a problem when I'm out in huge areas like this. How long have I had this? Can't even remember my own garbage.
Hey, hey, is a milestone. I need one equipment small, but I don't think I'm ready to spend money on it. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to go to the fort and give them all their shit, just so I stop seeing those pop-ups. Can rest for one whole minute. I'll sleep on the fancy couch. There's no difference as far as I can tell. Yeah, it'll be nice to get that, uh, the nicer blanket so we sleep quicker. Oh, we're doing okay. Yeah, there goes the fire. It's starting to warm up, though, too. I saw the sun came up. Temperature just went from 3 to 4. All right, I really need to fucking talk. Eh, you know, I want to be full. Let's enjoy when we can actually keep our temperature full consistently, because that's going to stop real fast when it starts to snow. Is there any junk over here? No, just utility stuff. Let's go talk to clothes hobo. Let's fucking see if Shrug's finally awake, sobered up. Every time I leave him alone, I just keep finding more clothes. Three cigarettes now with a uh, expert dumpster diver. I didn't stash the clothes now. Got them all still. Look at this. A bunch of jackets, my old jeans, some shoes. I'm going to keep these because I think Bear wants rubber boots for a quest or somebody wants rubber boots for a quest. And if we're really getting wet, we can put the rubber boots on because boots are usually a good place to build up some water resistance. I think rubber, like, I'll show you in a moment, but rubber boots have some pretty crazy water resist on them any presents yeah look at that 37 water resist on top of whatever like it's a 37 improvement over my current shoes which is a lot the downside, of course, is that uh, you'll have some cold resist on your your boots that you'll lose. So I think the um, switching to rubber boots is pretty dicey uh, in the snow. But maybe not. I mean, like, if you're soaked through, um, you're going to get cold twice as quick. So maybe that is a bigger threat in the winter. Another, th another piece of clothing to sell to Shrug. Those things normally go for, like... Uh, like 10 or 20 bucks, but it'll add up. Probably got about 100 crowns worth of shit at least to give them. Dump Raider. The toys were for something. I forget what we could build with the toys. Actually, you know, I think it's seven for Dumpster Diving Master. So we can get to Dumpster Diving 7. We can get Master really early. Dumpster Diving Master before winter would be wonderful. Because like I said, we're going to... We seem to be making most of our money from garbage. Either clothes to shrug. Um, or uh, electrical components we can use to fix appliances to pawn. Do, do. 
Toys were for the stash, right? I am shredding my clothes a bit. Don't have quite enough fabric to fix all this, but I'm going to be dumb and go through all the dumpsters. Did I have any plans for today, or am I just dumpster diving? We go to the charity, I suppose. Grab the dog. Although I think because it takes so long to go through the dumpster, it's hard to walk the dog in time because you keep stopping to do mini games. We're about to level up our dumpster diving. That might actually get it to seven. Or maybe are we on six? I can't remember. I think we just need seven to get the final perk. So there's even more lootable stuff in the bins. That was six, wasn't it? Because now we can check the uh, trash cans safely. Dumpster diving is six, so yeah, master I think needs level seven. Let's go get the dog. Right, I was gonna... We can grab the wood by the charity because we can put all our inventory uh, through the magic of teleporting base stashes. Sell clothes. My morale's broken. Not on my fucking watch. Wow, look at the knockers on that one. Problem solved. They won't talk to me. They can probably sense I just jacked off. That's that weird jacking off hobo again. Have you heard about Anatoly's pawn shop? Fair enough. Yeah, we had a bit of an infusion of cash when we robbed that hobo out of his drunken stupor, but we're not as rich as we seem. Whoop, I saw that. I saw that, thug. Never heard of it, and I don't want to hear about it. Calm the fuck down. Sure as shit, not going to try to pick someone's pocket right in front of the police station. Oh, there's no thug there today. Oops, it's a medium. Another broken keyboard. Looks like the minigame gives more than all the treasure combined in that dumpster. That's kind of wacky. Been here. So I think this is his place. Yep. Okay, you better be fucking sober. I'm tired of this windbreakers taking up space in my bag. There we go. Barter. Venerable coat. This is shit. Um, so yeah, I will sell you this stuff. Ten bucks. Yeah, ten. Twenty. Forty for deluxe sweatshirts. Thirty-six for an new jacket. Shitty jeans give me twenty. This is forty. I don't know why. It's a joke item. And... Are these three? Okay. No, these are more for water. Fuck that. We got the wa we got the boots. Oh, we ooh, we can get rid of the bags to him. Perfect. And you know what? That's a big wad of cash right there. 
Can I take a shower? I'm a little smelly. Can I wash myself here? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he'll also repair my clothes for me instead of the seamstress. That's not too bad. Speaking of the seamstress, though, we should go see her, too, because I have those flowers. Three returnable bottles. Starving. What do I have? I have a couple grubs. I'll take both. Ah, I got a shit ant shower. We'll just do that at the charity. Grab some free food. Oh, fuck. Can I go in here? Oh, I'm not giving you the money. Tell me a joke now. I'm on a rum diet. I've lost three days. Thank God. I would have fought to the death to protect my stuff. Well, not to the death, because you drop it all, but I would have let him rough the shit out of me. Actually, if he roughed me up too much, I might have shit myself, so we, he would have roughed the shit right out of me. Where's the movie theater? It's right this way? No, I'm not where I thought I was. This is the movie theater. Uh, it's kind of early, but I have a feeling they won't have any furniture today. Christ, that's a hard minigame. Might be better to risk the steel instead. Hey, man. So that's when you'd use the speech minigame. Oh, I forgot to go talk to that guy, Nugget. The one who's good at begging. And then maybe the guy outside the charity base? He teaches me how to be good at speech? I can't recall. If I can get furniture daily and sell it, now I can kind of see the appeal of the speech perk. You can probably sell furniture for like 50 bucks or even more, depending on what it is. Give me a big old blessing. Keep our morale under control for the day. Um, that was a cop, but he just left. So I'm going to go for it. Yeah, it looks like you're more likely to get stacks when it's a locked dumpster. Yep, you don't see stacks on normal dumpsters. Wow. That's pretty great. Lottery ticket, which is usually shit, but ooh, a bottle of rum. It's fifty dollars in savings right there. All right. Junk. Um, how are we doing here? I do need to shit and shower. Just gonna grab the wood, wasn't I? I have way too much on me, it turns out. Put a bunch back. And then, what was it, nails? Contractor. Nails, polyesterine. Yep, okay. So we'll walk the dog and we'll drop the stuff off at the fort as we go by. Those guys don't want to talk to me. Well, fuck them. And yeah, I'll go with, I'll just go with free food today from the charity. 
I feel like I heard about it somewhere, but I don't know any specifics. Okay, I'm not getting any closure on this uh, Anna Taller stuff. So you this comb I found for 10 bucks instead of 15? Yes, that's like that. I mean, there's a bunch of items that you can't sell otherwise, but that's the end of the interaction. You're better off begging instead of selling a shitty comb for 10 bucks. I need to use the toilet. I need to use shower. Wash my clothes because I was in the dumpster all day. And I'll take food. And where's the dog? Can I not walk the dog anymore now that we're uh, on that? Now that she's told the priest how nice I was? Where do I have the dog right now? Maybe I broke because I did everything at once. Huh. Can't walk the dog anymore. Maybe I'm locked out of that from helping the hobos and now I'm helping the priest. Yeah, oh, yeah, because the priest says that lady's missing a dog. I've heard about it, man. Pawn shop? Sure, Anatoly's junk shop. He's making a killing under the commies because you couldn't get anything, but he always had stuff. T too bad it's a pity he's closed down. He didn't close down. Well, people talked about it a lot at the spring flea market. I remember that. I haven't considered going there after that. Must have been some slander. Oh, Jesus and Mary will fuck me. Don't say that twice. Under the railway overpass, there used to be an old homeless guy living in a broken caravan. He's got to be the homeless guru. So far, nothing's done him in, and he's survived like a hundredth winter on the street. It's quite a legend. Oh. So yeah, I think we can see every shrapnel on a garbage can. Shit. Can't walk the dog, so so much for that plan. Drop the stuff off at the fort. What is this? Oh man, time really got away from us today. Too much fun living the hobo life. Can I get up here? No, I can't climb up there. Oh, I see locked dumpsters. And I just took a shower too. It's just too much good stuff in a locked one. And with level six, we can dodge six out of ten shrapnels in a dumpster. Unless I do that. Oh, I'm out of detection. Don't mind me, just taking your shit. And a mini game. Perfect. Um, that's first. That's just too much stealing. I don't want to do that one. I'm overweight again. That's a good sign. Once we give all the stuff to fix the the hobo fort, that should really lighten our load. Hang on, sir. Oh, I wanted to beg for money. do this minigame while I'm over here because apparently we're surrounded by shrapnels. Antibiotics. That'll be good for if we get sick. Okay. Maybe Bear is a quest. I don't think we need anything from Bear, though. No, wait, we do. Let's talk about dumpster diving. This will give us a huge jump. Plus 300. 
Best source of income when you're on the street. I practically don't talk to people at all, and I get by comfortably. You can totally earn a living, and you don't have to talk to assholes. It's like being a businessman, but without having to pay taxes. I don't think that's true. Um, teach me. 40 trust, 50 trust to become a dumpster diving master is the problem. So we really got to get some good quests from him. You wouldn't believe how much maintenance a shack like this requires. Why are you telling me this? Uh, well, shed's fucked up. Okay. What's on your mind? Every day sucks. Not true. It just takes some practice, man. You have to look really miserable. It's not that hard. You've got some aces up your sleeve. Sorry with that disgusting leg of yours. Fuck. That'll just scare people away. Thanks for nothing, man. Hey, fuck you. Bear is going to be a real pain in the ass to max up the trust. Um, I think I can... Jesus. This is a lot of fucking work, Bear. I'm gonna black out from exhaustion. Not now, thug. What's going on? Tell me a joke. Uh, what's red and bad for the teeth? A brick. I know that one. Now, no else is bad for the teeth? My fist. Fuck you. I'm not giving you my money. Take this. It's got a baseball bat. <laughs> Fucking bear. Get beat up fixing his house for him. Holy shit. Whew. The close one. Fix your stupid shack. Hey, that's great. I just hope it won't fall down in my head. What do I owe you? I have some old junk if you're interested. Or do you want some money? A shopping cart? This might give us more trust, but I don't have a shopping cart. It's yours. I can repair that or strip it for parts. I'm not sure if that actually took all the parts that Tony needs. What do you say? Building materials. There's the planks. There's the nails. There's the styrofoam. Perfect. That should do it. You're a hard worker, let me tell you that. Yeah, we're done. You should get your energy back. Go to Masha. She'll give you something you can scarf down. I could eat a horse. Need help with something? I go for a jog every morning to keep my cardio game on point. Commendable. Except the sole on one of my shoes is gone. I don't know how to fix shoes, but if I find some, I'll bring them to you. Thanks. Running shoes? He needs both his shoes. I actually had some of those and I just sold them. Oh, well. Need help with something? Not at this moment. Request. I'm running for the title of Beggar King. Will you vote for me? No, not to get to know you better. Well, fuck you, Tony. Teach me? Willpower plus one. Lemon. Hi. Uh, he told me I could get a lunch here for my help with the renovations. Right. It's good Tony totally Fighting got around to fixing the floors. Just the other day, Carl fell through the rotten floors into the mezzanine. Enjoy. Macho toast and bra. Miss is fine. Tell me something about yourself. What do you want to know? You said you cook here? I'm in charge of the provisions. How it works here is maybe a bit different from what you're used to. We have a budget to buy food and stuff. Everybody chips in when you cook it all. It's faster when you cook big portions for multiple people. It's also cheaper, so we have relatively all right food that doesn't cost that much to make. You think I could also get something neat from time to time? Well, the food's strictly for the residents. However, often there are some leftovers due to the sheer amount. Maybe if I gave you a day or two old food, nobody would mind. Thank you. Need help with something? I've been studying all day long, and I have to think of something to cook. I do that as well, thinking about what I would cook if I could. Don't get me wrong, but this really is a thankless job. I have a ton of my own study problems, and if that isn't enough, I have to deal with people whining about every eating rice for the fourth day in a row. Well, I'm not a chef, but I could help you out. 
Cooking on a budget is torture. I could share some recipes with you about the recipes. How about grub? Grub, huh? That sounds all right. It's really just a last resort. It's just a bread roll and some food scraps. Anything will do. If you mix a lot of it together, it kind of tastes the same. Doesn't sound too complicated. Wait here, I'll try to whip up a portion. All right. Here, what do you think? Not too bad. We never get a tasting this good out there. There's apparently seven recipes I can teach you. Jesus Christ. I have to write that down in my recipe book. You're welcome. I don't know any of the recipes. Need help with anything? Not at this moment. Request some food, which takes 30 trusts. Holy fuck. No, it takes 30 hourglass. Teach me. She, I'm the one teaching her how to cook, so that's not going to fly. Um, I think it's almost time to call it a day here. I don't think I have any outstanding stuff we were in the middle of. Need help with something? I've got a job interview coming up, and I need some decent clothes. Something classier than a torn sweatshirt and jeans. An interview? First stable job in years. It's nothing glamorous, just a basic postman, but I'm still afraid I stand no chance of the interview without a decent suit. I'll try getting you some clothes. You'll repay me later. If you get the job, you'll be fine, but I'll still be on the street. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm not dumb. I'll give you the clothes back and add something extra. Deal. About the suit? He needs a jacket, suit pants, and fancy shoes. Oh, boy. Teach me absolutely nothing. Okay. It's a nice unlocked dumpster here. Where's the mini game? I get a lot of mini games now. Cigarettes? What do we got here? Hobo. Ah, locked. Going inside, champ? Good call. I'm just going to cut my hand up and grab as much as I can. Keyboard. Old printer. There's a lot of mini games in this one, actually. Dead mouse. Shit. Just a second. Oh, uh, what's up? Ah, fuck off. Going to prison, I guess. Thought I could get that item in time. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What are we up to? We are going to call it a night soon. Masha needs recipes. I have a lot of, like, half-done quests. Tell Anatoly the pawn shop. Everyone thought it closed. We can get that out of the way. That guy needs a suit. Miss Ludovic's dog has gone missing. Visit her to learn more. We'll do that because we're right at the police station here. No one will vote for me to be the beggar king yet. Monty, we need the broken headphones still. And we have to find those in a dumpster. I think we can buy broken headphones. Back in the saddle, he wants biker clothes. Master... Oh, I know where that is. Okay. That's that little uh, RV near the pawn shop. Labor office. We can sign up for a job at the labor office, which is a little time consuming. I think our dumpster diving is superior to this now, but we can sign up right outside. Zero tolerance. We never talked to Razor. Actually, that might have been the hobo we walked right by. Veiled Vindicator. We haven't talked to the criminals, the ruffians, the police, or the junkies yet. And then Four Legged Friend is. I can buy a dog if we talk to the gypsies. I think we found functional headphones. Or maybe I had broken headphones and I threw them away, Justin. You might be onto something. Is this the labor office? It is. Can I sign up for some job opportunities? You should if you're looking for a job. Here's a card with your database ID. You can now stop by from time to time to see if we have any temporary work. God bless you. Any work? There's an open a position at the pu public services, some excavation work. Okay. Great. Go to the construction site. Somebody will tell you what to do. You can get your pay back here afterwards. Okay. Street sweeping. Get your paycheck anymore. All right, see ya. Got a couple jobs. I have to s sweep the streets over there. Oh, not in the rain. 
Maybe we'll do this later. Since it's raining. We'll just drop. Yeah, we'll just do that next time. Our dumpster diving is doing great. Once we get to level 7, we'll, we'll have to really focus on Befriending Bear, because once we're a Dumpster Diving Master, that'll give us a good framework. Then we can start hunting down hobo perks and try to sweet-talk people into electing us Hobo King. We are going to get very wet because I can't sprint. I'm overweight. See if I can sell some bottles. 11 degrees outside. My clothes are keeping me pretty toasty considering I'm wet. 67 barrels. Holy shit. We almost have $1,000. For $1,000, we might find some pretty neat shit at Shrug. That's, that's the main goal, is to just visit Shrug every day or two and see if he has that really expensive winter jacket. Because if we can buy that, we are going to be set for... A couple weeks. Hard part will be fixing it. We'll have to probably pay the seamstress. Oh, you know, there's a lot of half-baked shit that I have on the go. I think we need to wrap that up before we actually stop. I have to go give the seamstress a bunch of uh, carnations, for example. But I am going to sleep. Definitely got enough toys for the storage. Bunch of rope. We might be able to finish off some of the um, building milestones. So that's a fair bit of scrap metal to sell. Too cold to sleep. Gonna need a lot more newspaper to make it through the night, I think. That'll do. I think once I'm done being wet, the temperature should go up that much faster. That's not too bad. Uh, a minute, that'll get us a decent amount of rest. So yeah, I want to give the seamstress all these carnations. Mm, I don't think I want to do this work right now, but yeah, we have a construction job and a street sweeping job. I think those probably give us like 50 bucks each. I guess this is a good time to put on those rubber boots, though. Let's try to make those... Um, the walls for the base. All right, it's getting too cold for me. Yeah, my clothes are all in shit shape. Okay. Break all that stuff down. Can't fix that, I can fix this. A shoddy door will be a nice addition. Another shoddy roof.
That's a milestone. The shopping cart, I think, will evolve into something, so... We definitely want another level of resist. Yes, perfect. My morale's broken, apparently. I've unlocked any of this shit. Yeah, I need an engineer from uh, Monty. A lot of stuff's hidden behind that Monty perk. Huh. I don't have... Oh, I have Epic Trash. I don't have Epic Junk. I can make a weight bench. There we go. If I buy... Christ, Epic Junk. If I buy a barrel, which I've seen Meisner sell sometimes, we can make a uh, little trash can storage. Let's put those boots on. My wellies. Only lose a little bit of cold resistance. It's kind of nice outside, so... We can probably make do. Um, get that morale sorted out. Um, I'm just actually going to ask for a bunch of money. What do you got today? You got any barrels today? You don't have a, the one time I need a barrel, you don't have a barrel. Just ask for money all day. I need a little bit more. He gives, so he gives us 25 if we ask once. I want to see how much he gives us if we ask twice. A lot more. I'll pay you back, I promise. I won't. A tire? Yeah, I am pretty concerned about uh, how we're going to get enough trust and bear to get the master dumpster diver. But it'll be a great one. That one hasn't reset on us yet. Let's go see if Drax has anything today. I don't think we're really near another base milestone. Can I pay him back for more trust? I never saw an option. I think it's just dialogue. I think it's just a reward for chumming him up. Today he's just got betting. Um, I'm not going to say that stuff. It's too nice. Lock picking stuff. Yeah, who the fuck teaches me how to make lock picks? Maybe nobody. It was really just that one brief moment where we didn't have enough lock picks. I think it's under control now. Yeah, that's definitely soaking through my clothes, even with the rubber boots. We'll dry off before we go to the seamstress because I really don't want to be out in the middle of town when we get cold. Look at that. It's starting to look like a hobo hut, though. As we get better, we can swap out these shoddy walls for tarp walls. And then metal walls and wood walls. Need a couple bandages because that guy kicked the shit out of us when we were fixing Bear's roof for him. I can make epic junk out of epic trash. I did not know that. That might be what we need to craft some of this shit. Like the storage? Yeah, we. so I can make a storage if we can get our hands on a barrel. The drinking lounge probably isn't that bad either. Need a lot of liquor. We could probably buy most of this. We need the useful junk. I'm tempted to make this, and then we can make that the chair in our base. We have a campfire, which unfortunately does not emit light or heat. The newish kitchen stove doesn't do anything, I think. Engineer, engineer, engineer for this stuff. All right. Let's dry off. We're actually starting to run out of uh, newspaper kindling. But yeah, the seamstress, I think, once we chum her up with carnations, we can go see her every day for some fabric, which is good because we break our clothes a lot in the dumpsters. And then the bookstore guy, I don't know what he gives us. I think his trust is too low. So we need to we need to keep an eye out for some books. We can actually scrap the uh, box of books. There's a chance that it gives us books when we break it. I don't think it's 100% though. All right. Dried off just as the fire went out. That's pretty good. 
Oh, fuck. The sun's going down. I don't know if we can make it to the seams for some time. We're leaving a lot of things half done today, so hopefully I remember what they are for next time. Probably probably Wednesday. Now that Christmas is over, I think we'll be going back to the, the normal schedule. No more shitting in a bucket so I can play Valhalla Nights all week long. That was a fun game. It's no Hobo Tough Life, though. Oh, speaking of books, there's a book we can sell to the uh, bookstore. I think it's mostly for trust. I mean, it's good money, but there's better money now. Hey there. Unfortunately, you came right at the end, but hello. Although in classic TTA fashion, it's been the end for like 45 minutes. Because I'm hooked. I don't know why it is like some games are like, oh, this is tedious. This is no fun. And then something like this is like, let's check one more dumpster before we stop for the day. Just certain gameplay captures me, I suppose. Careful. Yeah, it can you never really have enough water resist to stay completely dry, but I guess it's enough for you to like get between fire barrels. The shitty thing is, is well, actually, I think though, I think you do dry naturally if you get out of it. Maybe not. But unlike the cold, the cold is always biting at you. So depending on what you're doing that day, and if you have a good route, you can make it um, between all the roofs before you soak through. Another scratch tick. Okay, garbage. She is... Now, we got to be careful because there is a thug over there, and my health is not that great. Sell the book first. Sell old books. Is a book for you? Okay, so every time we sell them something, we get a little trust. we got to find a bunch of books. And then 20 trust he'll, is he'll give us some materials, and then he'll give us really weird shit if we get to 60 trust. But apparently... Well, it takes 60 hourglass, so I guess it's just, like, all his trust for the day. Because we learned that their trust is tied to the hourglass cap. Hey, man, want to give me some money? That's an interesting strategy, is beg right away. And then you can still try the conversation. Oh, yeah, I'm soaking through. Oh, wow. All right, watch out for thugs. He's normally right here. Fuck you. In this weather? Okay, he doesn't seem to care. So I'm going to go dumpster diving to celebrate. It's not too shabby. Hello, Miss Emka. I have a carnation. Oh, you're so sweet. But you know what would make me happiest? I make these unconventional handmade ponchos and armchair covers, and for that I need some cloth pieces, ideally interesting ones. They can even be embroidered or even a bit older. If I find something, I'll give it to you. That'd be wonderful. I've got something for you. Remarkable cloth. I actually have remarkable cloth back home, and I think I'm going to give it all to her. Give you some more carnations to cheer you up. Hang on, um, request, 20 trust, she'll give me stuff, 40 trust, she'll let me come inside, 40 trust by winter would be great, mend the clothing, I mean, we have good money, but I don't think I want to waste it on fixing, because I'm actually smart enough to fix this myself, just give it the carnation, give me the carnation, she's, oh, she's almost at, uh, almost at 20, I could almost just ask for shit every day. But she wants the remarkable cloth, and oh boy, don't mind me. Um, I, I'm going to give her the remarkable cloth as well, in classic, we're not done yet fashion. I'm going to give her the remarkable cloth. He should be gone now. Not stealing. Oh, 
Oh boy, it's a wet one. Let's go to the charity. That's closer. I am not a good beggar. I think we're maybe a level three beggar. It's crazy because uh, dumpster diving takes off pretty early. You don't need too many points in it. Is there anything back here? This is a really weird dead end. One of these weird factories that I'm too scared to steal from. Maybe if I was tough, I would just start lockpicking him when the guard's like, Hey, what are you doing? Just fucking club him in the head with a fire extinguisher. I think if you can't defend yourself, there's certain things that aren't worth stealing. Wood burns for 40. I'm actually going to burn the occasional chunk of wood now that we know where to get wood to. Uh, there's a bunch above our charity base in Zizkov, and then there's uh, a bunch over by Drax. How did I discover this game? My friends and I were looking for something to play. We never really play multiplayer survival games like Seven Days to Die, and this showed up, and it was kind of cheap at the time. I think it is kind of cheap. I think it's still like 20 bucks, because we try to buy stuff under 20 bucks, and then it entertains us for a few weeks. But we played this... I was into it the most. Uh, my one friend was into it the least, so I convinced him that we could just move on to something else, and then uh, I, I'm streaming it now. Because I really liked it. This was sort of like Outward, where I played Outward, and I, I was like, I need to stream this ASAP. Yeah, take the Remarkable Cloth and the Strange Fabric as well for a little extra. Um, now, why the fuck can't I build the personal dump? There we go. There we go. We'll place that back at our base before we stop. Does she live where I think she does? Yeah, that's actually quite close to the charity base. That's a nice base of operations if I can ever get it up and running. Fuck. Now don't you be closed. Okay. I've got something for you. It's this weird cloth I found. Holy mother of God. This is marvelous. I'm not even going to ask where you got it. I'll give you 60 crowns for it. I really want to rush her trust, so... You can just have it. Ah, sure. Oh, aren't you a saint? Thank you, then. We've got more. So once we don't care about her trust, then we can get 60 bucks for every time we find a remarkable cloth. But we also might need this uh, for, like, really high-level clothing. 25... I've got something for you. Special cloth. Can you teach me? You can just teach me how to make this stuff. 500 bucks. You'd have to sell her quite a few to earn that back. 100 bucks in a carnation, we can learn how to make strange fabric, which would help for, um... That would help for fixing the clothes we have right now, like mid-game clothes. Do you have anything to spare, Mrs. Emka? But of course. I don't know what she gave me. Oh, some clo Oh, I could ask for clothes every day. So we could get a piece of clothing from the charity and a piece of clothing from Miss Emka to give to Shrug. Nothing, actually. So we have enough trust, we don't have enough hourglass. All right, I think now we've seen enough. And we can stop. There's a long hobo one, but I mean, if you get into the groove... Probably Friday. Friday's the worst time to get into the groove because I start so late that I'm up too late. But Sunday, we're in the afternoon in my time zone, so if I get sucked into something, I don't lose too much time. Fucking thugs. He might actually drop us. I, I, if your health's low enough, they might finish you off. I don't know. What do you want? Take this smoke. That worked out. I think we've already been to the movie theater, but just because we're right here, I'm going to check. Sir? I just want to talk. Are we doing enough? Good day, everybody. I'm just going to steal something. I regret this. This is garbage. That's the stealing minigame. I think I've stolen stuff before. It just gives you three items and you decide which ones you want to steal before time runs out. I really want to ask for the furniture, but, um... It's the one pip. Ah, you know what? We never, ever talk to Nugget. I'm going to go talk to Nugget. 
We're really just hitting everybody up today. There's a fire barrel right here as well, so we can dry off briefly. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Don't be drunk. Okay, good. Um, barter. Oh, ooh, a Yashunka. $1,200 reduced, though. Oh, that's uh, that's actually not a good hat. That's just 10 cold resist. This is more than 10 cold resist. Why would I wear this? It's got some defense baked into it, but I mean, come on. It's yellow, so it's going to be a pain in the ass to fix. These are Bodas Deluxe. We need regular Bodas for uh, Tony. Yeah, this is not particularly incredible piece of clothing. Request. Can I wash myself here? Just because we had a little bit of stinky. We'll dry off before we find Nugget. Now that uh, we're good at dumpster diving, we're just going to start burning junk sometimes because it cooks for a few seconds. It's mostly the coat. Most of your, your, your good stats come from the coat. The, the hat and the boots kind of round out what you're trying to do. Whoop. Whew. Got in the weapon shop just in time. That thug's guarding the best way back to my base. Good for cutting down weeds and collecting debt payments. $1,200 for machete is pretty fucking great, but... That's actually the way back home now that I think about it. We are trying to get over... There we go. This is where we want to be. This is right near Nugget. Some paper to sell. There's... Fucking Christ. No matter what I do, there's going to be like three things that we have to do at the beginning of the next stream. I don't forget what they are. Holy shit. There's a lot of wood in this one. A crate for Meisner. Some shoes. And the radio to fix. All right. Nugget. Give Meisner the crate, then that's it for sure. I have a life outside of Hobo Tough Life, and I have to go tend to it, but we keep finding stuff. Eight hundred and fifty-nine crowns, though. Yeah, it's like I think. Slowly inch our way up to four thousand, because if we can get that winter coat from Shrug, we will be laughing. And we're mostly past the part where we're probably going to die, so I don't think we'll ever die. It'll just be very tedious to recover from where we were. Begging expert. Okay, okay. Begging level four. We have four, you know, four hundred crowns. I'm, I'm willing to spend that four hundred crowns before we get the winter coat. Does that pay? Good luck with that then. Okay, what am I at now? Begging two. That's a long ways off, but begging, begging four. All right, let's go. Nugget doesn't teach us anything except the perk. So what is it? Bear gives it to us for dumpster diving. Those are kind of. I don't know how I feel about those things where it's like you give them a bunch of rum and they give you a bunch of raw XP, but only once. Could be worse, I suppose. I don't think this will be as long as City Skylines. I don't think this will be a 50-parter. But it might be 50 hours. I think it's like a 50-hour playthrough. Unless uh, I get really lucky or really distracted to make it longer or shorter. So what would that be? That'd be like 20 streams. A minigame at the train station? Really? Toilet paper? Who would throw this out? It's in the wrapper. Let's give that guy his crate. And then we can call it a night. 
So these dumpsters I'm leaving undived. Oh, geez, it's zero degrees out right now. That winter's coming in fast. Right, the barrel. We need the barrel. And then we can make the shopping cart storage. It's only that crate because I got one. There you go, champ. Happy to help. He needs a flat hat. Doesn't have a barrel today. Teach me. Um, comfortable bedding. That's the best blanket. That's probably the one we want to bother with. I don't think the in-between one's worth the trouble. Although I think it's actually made out of the in-between one. You just keep putting more shit on it. All right, okay, now we can stop. We are going to go over to Drax because he's got that fire barrel that never burns out. So we, I mean, our hobo fortress has a, sea, a roof now, which is great, and uh, that dumpster diving expert is really coming in handy. We have a bunch of money, too. Nothing good today, huh? Yeah, I mean, he sells a lot of interesting furniture. It would have to be really interesting furniture to justify those prices. Oh, bottle opener. Some alcohol. This stuff's back, huh? Okay, that's enough. I said we were done. I said we were done and we're done. Is it worth it to put a roof over my bed? Um, the reason the first base is so great is because the fire barrel's always under a roof. So we never get what when we sleep under that one, Justin, but yeah, it's, it's a little frustrating because you can never build your own fire barrels. Cause I would obviously want to put a heat source in my house, but we can't. So you're always best off sleeping next to the fire barrel, which because that fire barrels up against the wall, that's maybe why the other bases are better for a more aesthetic hobo fortress. Like the one by the charity, we have a little more room and we can like build the house around it. And then the, uh, the other one in the demolished block, you can build a roof over it. Uh, but for now, out of uh, efficiency, we'll probably keep all our, our hobo living stuff in that main base. And then use the charity. I, I eventually want to move into the charity base because it's a decent location. It's right by the faith buff. It's right by the charity for some free food. It's not too far away from the center of town. Technically, the other one, the demolished block, is in a really good location. But I just don't know my way around that part of town yet. We might move over there one day, but... Probably once we have enough furniture to build a whole hobo house, we'll relocate from this first part over to the charity, and then we'll see where we go from there. But I want to focus on dumpster diving still, and probably tying up some of these quests, because we have a lot of quests that uh, aren't making any progress. And uh, we have to befriend a bunch of hobos so we can get elected uh, Beggar King, and that would be the end of the playthrough, but that's a long ways off. So thanks for coming out to watch today, and I'll see you next time with some more hobo tough life. Until then.